microphone check one two what is this the jbp boys back for christmas Ooh, i see what you did huh <laughs> Fuck you, Fark. That was a little rhyme in there. No. You know what I mean? Rory, get a pen and paper, paper right now. Write the four. <laughs> nah, no, it's next year. Button. Holiday break, I'm chilling. I get rhymes, no, Rory and Ma! This Parks. This Parks. What's that? Uh, the, 310, right? 309. 369. Damn, she fine. Didn't we just do 309? No, that was 08. It's okay. <laughs> Welcome to episode 310 of the, Joe, <laughs> of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Rashid Sunflower is here, dressed to hey, the nines. Hey, how you doing, brother? Good seeing you. Good. Oh, same here, man. You've yeah, been all right? How's the family? Good, man. Everybody's good. Excellent. Well, you know, you know he's, he's hanging out today, because today is not a holiday for him. Yeah. Not for Rashid Sunflower. That's true. Doesn't recognize this holiday. What day is it again? Just a Wednesday. Oh. Just, just Wednesday for Rashid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We have Parks here. White Thought, how you doing, man? Good, man. Merry Christmas. Yo, same, same, same bro. Same. Same. White, White Thought white definitely thought acknowledges Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> white Thought created Christmas. It was a white, it was a Santa white thought. is a White Thought. It was a White Thought. <laughs> Rory is here. What's up, man? Hey, man. How you doing? Sunset Park. I still like that. Yeah, it's got a nice little good. rhythm. Off has a nice little ring to it. Erickson is here. STD Savon is here. Alexander the Satisfactory Screen Man is here. And last but certainly not least, friend, or should I say former friend of the show. Mm. Foe of the show? Mm. Damn, you got canceled as a friend? Foe, foe of the show now. <laughs> <laughs> Defense of the show. I want uh, to I I congratulate you for... Uh, my impact making y'all number one on Spotify? No, nah, that, that Yo, round of applause. Nah, that's on that. that's, that's true. That's why we brought nah. you back. That's a round of applause. Yeah. No, that's a round of applause yeah, on that. One. Give him a round we appreciate yeah. that. Because yeah, I don't think you, that Josh. we, we could have done that without your contribution. Nah, and that was, shouldn't go unnoticed. No, nah, it was slipping. I yeah. saw it. Yeah. 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 I saw it. <laughs> Left you out the press release. Justice is here. I wear cool pants is here. Yeah. And he indeed is in. Has on some fucking cool pants. You got to change your name. Because you wear cool outfits, man. It's not just pants anymore. Mm. Yeah, it was an accident. Well, you peeped that a man compliment. That's how men, <laughs> that's, that's how, your, that's how men compliment each other. Yeah, change yeah. your name, man. I appreciate that. Man. That just is a really nice cool little... Outfits. What is the... Yeah. It seems like you're trying to have a velvet battle with me. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it's no battle. Come on, Joe. He won. <laughs> This is this is a nice little velvet number here. Thank this you. Number. This, uh, this, this girl Can't tell from, a nigga uh, he's wearing a number. From LA. Her name is Lena Rama. She makes like okay. fire velvet shit. Okay, Lena. Right, we didn't I, tell uh, you to plug nobody here, but I still can't pull off pull <laughs> off the new wave of tucking the sweatpants into the socks. I, I tried it once. I said, Rory, you look really stupid. And I untucked it. When I, when did you try it? Uh three months ago. You know what's funny? When you try shit like that, it's like you think it's going to look one way. <laughs> it, do, it doesn't look that way. And then you start walking around, you're like, nah, I don't look No, because right. I saw people doing it. I was like, wow, they look Joe, really you cool. Tuck? Of course I tucked when we were tucking. No, that, that's back, <laughs> in, though. It's back. In, yeah. in it's a thing. It's, it's I'm back. telling you it's a thing now. I know. Y'all try to make all the <laughs> shit we did uncool until y'all do it. Now I see niggas trying to raise their one pant leg. Mm. Like, you see them? That's back. Are these shots okay? at me? It's not back. It's not back. These are shots at me. What'd you say? Are these shots at me? Am I? I can't hear you. Are these shots at me? No. Oh, okay. You actually, you're one of the people that just do cool stuff. Naturally, it's cool. Like, when I looked and saw that the velvet shit was in some, like, off-white socks. Not the brand off-white, but, like, some dirty-looking socks. Like, damn. <laughs> this nigga looks cool doing this. Yeah. Like, that looks just the way it should look on Justice. And this conversation also confirmed my theory that Rory be home trying to just try things that are cool. <laughs> <laughs> he was just trying like nah, that ain't, yeah, that ain't, yeah, that ain't gonna hit him with that. That ain't working. That ain't, that ain't for me. <laughs> Yo, Look dead. at these narratives you put on me, man. You just said it. All right, well, how's everybody doing, man? How's everybody feeling? Let's start there. Merry Christmas to all of y'all. Happy holidays to all of y'all. Uh, Happy Mercury retrograde. Are we still in Mercury retrograde? No, Probably. We're we're not, we not, always. Not, oh, actually, out. Joe's our we're horoscope. We're not. We're not. We're, not. we're out. We're not. But there's aftermath. Okay. Uh, so we're in the aftermath. Shout out to Doctor Dre. Anytime a chick is wrong, she says we're in it. So we're just. Permanently, we, we, we stay in that. Yeah. Well, what are you guys doing today? <laughs> uh, sitting in front Come of on. TV. Give me all the generic shit Watching first. basketball. Yes. Eating food. That's what this day is about. That's about it. I got to do the, the Christmas. Sleep it off touch. a hangover, probably. Well, look, you're getting them all excited over here. You start talking basketball. You know, he turned into John Mall. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Day matchups. That's what it's all about. Who's who's playing? Tell us. Uh, everybody. 
Everybody. Everybody. Right. Yeah, everyone's playing. The Knicks ain't Whole playing. league. No, the Knicks don't get a Christmas Day game. No. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no, we did at one time, I think, when Melo first came to the Knicks. That was the last oh, time we got one. 12 years ago? Yeah. Okay. Justice, I'm happy to see you. I'm glad you're here. Thank um, you. This is the first, one of the first times to my knowledge that you're at the podcast, and I had no idea you were even in New York. Rory just kind of hit the group chat like, yo, Justice is coming, and we love you. So I was like, all right, cool. But then you came in like, hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I told him I was coming in hot, for sure. But he didn't tell me. Coming in hot. Why Rory didn't tell me Justice was coming in hot? This is a surprise. Yeah, got to keep it spicy. Yeah, got to keep you on your toes. Mm, right. Yeah. I'm on yeah, my toes. Can't, can't let you prep. You're not prepared? No retreat. <laughs> no retreat. <laughs> that's, kind right. of, that's how Park's so, house is set up. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> no retreat. Oh, yeah, no. If you're, <laughs> if you're, 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 kinda, you're fucked. It's just going to happen to you. Yeah. <laughs> it, the only exit is blocked by a Christmas tree. Yeah. Well, well, first of all, how are you doing? Are you, are you, well, before you start there, are you indeed shook now? No. Okay. Uh, I'm here to triple down. Okay. Okay. How, how are you, first of all? Catch uh-huh. us up on everything that's been going on since the last time we've spoken to you. I'm incredible, bro. Honestly, just like. No, you're a lot richer now. For sure. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw you buy some things on the internet this yeah. year. He has a chain with like five emerald stones on it. It's my birthstone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but there's five. five. Of you, were, you were born, you were born five times. <laughs> you, you were born one time. Bro. Nah, he was Funny. born on a leap year, though. <laughs> that still so that represents sense. every year of his birthday. So he's only five years old. Yeah, he's only five years old. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I think um, it's been a great year for for music and. and Congrats to y'all, man. For thank real, you. Man. Yeah. Whole, just whole business. Team. You big riding already, more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, I, I think, I think for me, like. Even the the podcast to what we're doing over there, it's just a, it's just all a, you know a sense of direction is where the culture is taking things. I mm-hmm. just feel like it's such a good time. It's in a good place. It's in a great place, right? if, and it feels great. It feels amazing. I right. like I like I like um, I like a lot of things that's happening. In the, I like I, I like the less violence. That's cool. Is it less violence? I was yeah. There's, uh, less, there's less violence. A little bit. When did gang culture get get back popping again? It never left. I don't know. Nah, it did. It died in like 2012 for a little second. Well, you mean like publicly? Yeah. Four years publicly? That's the only thing I don't love. Well, let's let's talk to the race relations and find out. (laughs) Because I don't know any. Well, actually, Maul is our gang culture. Yeah, I don't know much about gangs. (laughs) I knew that was going to be honest I'm not the gang culture anything. But we just don't come on here and talk about it because we want to keep everybody safe. But you're our gang culture reporter. Okay. You're closest to the gang neighborhoods. It's dangerous out there. That's all I'm gonna say. And there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> that is you can our get your issue. Gang report. All right. Um, I don't want to start with uh that. I don't care about that. And I'm not starting with the baby either. <laughs> what the baby do? I don't know. Okay. Ha ha. <laughs> 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 not catching me with that one, Dunny. <laughs> Wait, Clearly we- it was at the top of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> clearly I love when people Use the word clearly <laughs> It's not even clear Yeah it wasn't it was Very unclear <laughs> Um Do we want to start With Justice's Smoke Yeah let's, let's get, get into it, it. Yeah get yeah. into it So we can have It's a, a holiday We don't need structure yeah, On this shit have, Let's just yeah. get into some shit I don't even know What we're structuring about At all I just realized Joe has not had Any eggnog yet It's hmm. not true it's never the case. <laughs> really? It's never. I mean, the case. usually you keep your little two liter in your hand. And Joe, <laughs> Joe does that in July. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, not on outside too. It, on Christmas, you don't have any. You ever yeah. seen someone drink eggnog outside in the summer? Should after, be hot after it's been sitting in the car <laughs> for three hours. Sure. In, in, a, in a Dunkin' Donuts coffee that cup. That shit slowed down though. Joe's stomach ain't like it used to be. <laughs> that's why I'm laughing because I told him, yo, all right, go ahead. As you get older, that stomach gonna let you know exactly how old you are. Joe be eating wild shit on his Instagram though. I'm like, yo, my nigga, like, steak 24 7, 365. Your health? He gonna listen. Give him another year. He gonna be like, yo, man, gotta try this vegan thing. <laughs> stomach gonna be tore up. How do the vegans know when it's time to start the trying the vegan thing? When everything you eat runs right through you. Or when you can't shit, period. Oh, that's fun. That's not fun. <laughs> that's <yours. laughs> oh, shit. When you out and you like, oh, shit. I don't go out. You, you out every night. What are you talking about? Uh, same spot. <laughs> you still, still out. out. I'm not taking a shit in Starless. You might have to. <laughs> I did once. Oh, my, oh my God. God. Did you leave, Jesus did you leave right after? Huh? Did you leave after? Nah. <laughs> you went oh, back. my <laughs> sat, God. You sat back down. Yo. You sat right back down. <laughs> Go, taking this shit in the strip and, club bathroom and, and, and going, going back, back in <laughs> and trying to bag yeah, something too. Sick. All right, where was we? <laughs> you're sick. That's insane. And he lied to her. He said y'all was on the phone. My bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of that, that, that swag to me. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. How do we end up on a strip club? Oh, because that's where all you all go out every day. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is that is going out. Yeah, I like I like I, taking the shit is fun. <laughs> and I'm not here to start that way. But okay. yeah, I just think it's fun. So what the Clear vegan wait, the vegans are veganing so they can not shit? No, no so no, they no. can it shit. It changes their diet. It's because your body starts to like when you eat certain foods and certain products, your body will start like like rejecting it. So you have an upset stomach, you'll be like you have diarrhea and so you have to change your diet. Can't do okay. dairy, can't do none of that shit. When I but dairy is not vegan, for black people though. Hmm? When I say go vegan, just don't eat steaks for like a midnight snack. And breakfast. Yeah, just throw, throw some more green shit on the plate. Like, I think I was one, one time I was watching this story and he had like a double steak. Like, he staked it <laughs> oh, out. Oh, no. Like, when he, no, when he ordered the tomahawk <laughs> at bro. fucking Bruce. Yeah. I'm just like, the butter was what dripping. What the fuck is a the tomahawk? They have to clear the whole table. Like, you can't, I can't even eat my own shit on the table when that's on. Yeah, they clear the table and they bring the cow. I eat, I eat I, my lap. <laughs> and they, they bring two cows out and say, which one do you want? <laughs> and, and if you're listening out there in the New York area, at least, that the tomahawk steak from Roof Chris is a better steak than that 24-ounce porterhouse at uh, Catch Steak. I believe it. It is. Okay. I was a little disappointed by by that one, but I like that place. So I'm sure. I haven't that. been there yet, but when I when y'all go in your story and put like the little thin steaks where they cook in front of you, I'm like, oh, they they gaming y'all. <laughs> that's that steak worth about two dollars. <laughs> yeah. Little skirt steak. <laughs> I mean, skirt steak. <laughs> Just because they cook it in front of you on a, a little hot plate presentation. Yeah. Have you had the tomahawk at Salt Bay's restaurant? I have not been to Salt Bay's oh restaurant. Oh God, I, I, I was. Uh... Where was I? And I'm not calling him Salt Bay. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga's fire. I was in Greece. <laughs> See, Roy, you got to step it up with the cutie pics. I know, right? <laughs> nah, I'm battling bro. Salt he, Bay right he, now. You got a in cutie. Greece. He got a, that nigga's fire. <laughs> <laughs> now I was in Greece and like. Oh, it's, it's, it's in Greece. There's one here too. In but, New York? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't mm-hmm. know that. Yeah, yeah, it's incredible. But he went to the one in Greece But I went, to the one, I went to the opening for the <laughs> one in, um, in Mykonos. And he happened to be there. Meek was there? Meek? Don't worry about it. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> terrible. Masika? All right, I'm out. <laughs> but anyway, that tomahawk is probably one of the best tomahawks I've had. Oh, in yeah. Greece. No, but there's one here, which is equally as good. Are you, are you talking to me like a brokey? You think I'm a brokey like Rory? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why are you talking to me like I'm uh, a brokey like I'm Rory? I'm just saying step your Yo, there's one in Greece, I'm just saying but you can go here. Step your palate up. You can eat here. You can go to City Island. Step your palate up like like Bruce Chris. I will go to City Island. Yeah, I know. Bruce I know. Chris, come you, on, no, bro. You're step right. your palate you're up, right. G. You're right. You're right. You're right. They have nothing for me to say. All right, come on. Talk about something. No, he's going to get into the smoke. The debate. It's not a debate. There's no debate to have. I mean, what do you mean, bro? In 2020, moving forward, Joe, like, you have to pledge to, like, just stop. Stop hating? No, just, like, have context. Behind uh, things that he crazy. says. He's creating narrative. Because, because, I'm the for, context the, for the king. main nigga. I'm the context the, king, by the way. But for the main nigga, I go, I for the main the nigga that has, that has issues with the media running with your stories and ha- I put no context behind it, you do the same shit. And I'm like, Prove what? it. What do you mean? Prove it. All well, the summer shit you've been talking, okay. every single thing you said, no context, and it was all wrong. You were running with the shade room headlines. So, so then correct me and the rest of the headlines. What was wrong about what we were saying? Well, where do you want to start? Is you've said a bunch of shit. So where do you want to start? Have you heard of all of it? Usually, or heard what, comes, about usually all of what comes it? to me. <clears throat> yeah. Oh man. And they bring it to you because we have a relationship. Yeah, they be like, yo, isn't Joe your man? So I'm like, yeah, but you know, he's a mischief, so. <laughs> <laughs> Very what true. Has, what has Very Summer true. said? He's a rebel. What has Summer said? No, so, mischief Summer is Summer does not tune in. I think Summer sees everything that goes on. In Summer's, Summer has a different algorithm. <laughs> no, we know. <laughs> <laughs> the JVP's not hitting algorithm. Her, her timeline? What's so, her algorithm look like? Summer's algorithm is just all women. If women aren't, if it's not about beauty and women... She doesn't see it. Interesting. Mm. Okay. I yeah, like Joe, that. step your shit up. How do I get my algorithm to look like that? Because <laughs> I've been attacking algorithms for weeks, I got to tell you. I mean, I always see Maul, by the way, yeah, follows. Yeah. yeah. And I I'm, wish I stopped yeah. seeing it. I'm right there. I want to yeah. stop seeing it. Yeah, yeah. I'm around. Yeah. yeah. Just let you niggas know I'm here. Yeah, but I'm seeing that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, seeing, I'm in the building. I'm seeing that under a few joints. I mean, there. you know, it's. But we, t- we had a few talks, and you just going to go put your I name in. I mean, because sometimes they standing <laughs> in the way. It ain't even really meant for them. Uh, okay. It's like I'm scrolling and then I get into, you know, I'm just killing everything. I'm yeah. shooting everything down. It's, it's a rhythm. And it's like, oh shit, my bad. I ain't, she got grazed. I tried to invite Honey Dip to dinner or some shit. She was at the arcade. I lost at arcade. <laughs> <laughs> That's swag. 
See, about to put this high score up on Miss Pac Man. I'll get at you later. <laughs> See, if you, you, want, you want to make fun of the brokies, but we be doing the arcade dates yeah. and, mm-hmm. and winning. Mm-hmm. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Back to uh, back to uh, all the things that we were wrong about. So, wait, what were we wrong about exactly? Well, let's not just, say just we me. yet. No, me and the internet, not y'all. Okay. All right. This is me and the internet, and Justice being the highly intelligent brother that he is. Well, if you starting with you and the internet, he gonna come in here and your defense and, is and, looking. I'm no, I'm not defending anything. Let's be it. clear. I have an opinion on something right. that I have seen with my own two eyes, live in person and in the flesh. Mm-hmm. No, you haven't. Justice, we already established that I have been to a Summer Walker concert, and you invited me there. Joe, you went to a Summer Walker concert. Probably that was like her third show. Okay. A year ago. Granted. Right. So, but we have to stop saying you have not been to a Summer Walker concert. So what you mean, what you're attempting to say is the show has improved greatly since. No, it's then. like me saying I've been to a fucking. I've I've, been, I've watched LeBron James play when I watched him in high school versus him in the league. It's completely different. Is that your what you're saying? Yeah, for sure. All right, tell me more. What do you mean? All right, so like for example, right. Again, the reason why the internet is a funny place because all this y'all saying is fucking hilarious, but there's no context. Again, we're not really looking at the artist development process, right? You see an artist, literally, you were one of the first people I sent Summer's music to before we put anything out. And one right? of the first people to say, I love it. You did. We need more. Off top, right? Tra- trail first, first people to actually support her like, yeah. publicly. Mm-hmm. Um, and we love summer. Let's just put that out there. Like, that's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. no, no. This is just this is big like, facts. Yeah. yeah. Um. But yeah, no. Nah, so like, so like, seeing that right, and then you being privy to going to one of her first shows, being in front of people because a song blows up or a project blows up, mm-hmm. and again, artist development now has changed because you're literally in front of everybody's eyes, right? So there's no excuse for whatever it was. It's just like you have to put things in context to where the artist is in their process I agree. to be able to really judge it I agree with properly, that. right? So that's fine and dandy, but these the whole last tour, the whole string of shows, bro, if you actually were at the shows, there were great shows. The issues that that uh, that that really have come about again, it's just it's just a part of the internet hype culture. Internet the internet hype culture, right? Like, for example, summer is late to a show. Summer is not late. I don't care. You niggas that. are just there early. I don't care about that. Okay. <laughs> that's, so, not, that's not important in the grand scheme of okay. things. The artist is supposed to be late. <laughs> but no, but she's not even late. She's not even late. It's just like summer's fans. She's coming on when she's supposed sum, to come on. Summer's fans literally get there. Ma, you've been to a couple of the shows. They line up around the block. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fortunately... But also just like they happen to be, you know, women and women obviously shouldn't be in extreme temperatures outside and all that shit. So so like, yeah, I understand like it's a little bit of uneasiness that, that that goes with it. But that doesn't that doesn't take away from the fact that, hey, I'm supposed to go on at 10 o'clock. If you get there at six o'clock and the line is long, it's not my fault. I'm not, I can't actually put people in the van. Now, when you say that, you are referring to where were you guys when that whole we're, that was Toronto. Toronto. We're waiting outside for hours for a meet and greet. Mm-hmm. That that was what the internet was saying. No. So what was the, the internet, real version? The internet there? took up a whole bunch of shit, right? No, it was Toronto people. So let and let's be clear on that too. Okay. You keep saying the internet, but the internet is getting this from the people that are present. So this was Toronto people <laughs> saying, "Hey, why are we at the meet and greet standing outside and you're?" Uh, posting pictures so of you and Drake. So let me tell you Why how this... Why are you at this, Drake's house? So let me tell you how this... <laughs> what, when, when, when we're... So and, and you should be, too. I would so, go to Drake's house. So let me tell you how this works, right? So, like, fortunately, Summer happens to be... One of her, Drake's favorite artists. No, her name happens to be very click-worthy, right, on the internet. Mm-hmm. So what happens is... And niggas are weirdos. Fans will come to your show... And be all good, but because they can put out a tweet that can get picked up by blogs and like the shit will just like tumble, they will just really make some shit up and make it really grand for the shit to really go. Because if you do it, if you do a summer tweet in in sort of like, you know, like in that negative light, it kind of just picks up on its own. <clears throat> it really just picks up on its own because she's shade room fucking darling. And everything just happens to just like just just really go. So 
But what about the people in Toronto okay, so, that were standing outside so, for hours again, while Summer did whatever the again, fuck she wanted to do? Again, they were standing outside for hours, not because of our fault. Number one, the, it was snowing. We can't control that. It was snowing. Oh, um, you're proving doors, my point for me. Wait, doors are open at seven. It's not my fault that Toronto niggas fuck with Summer and they, and they started showing up at four and the line was around the block. They literally have to do security check for every single person. Justice. Stop this bullshit right this fucking What are you second. talking about? If the doors are at 7. Right. That don't mean the meet and greet is at 7. So why are you telling me this? Meet, I don't Meet and greet is is usually after the show. What are you talking about? Oh shit, I do mine before. See exactly. See again, I niggas niggas are running with a narrative. Summer met everybody, all her meet and greet niggas. The only issue was because they were standing outside for so long and Summer was backstage and Drake happened to pull up and they were just hanging and literally for, even for a second but because she's posting pictures and niggas have been have been outside for so long, they're like, oh, Summer's back there with Drake. I'm like, nigga, what she's did, only back there waiting for the venue to get full so she can play the show. Okay. What did you think about her uh, Fallon performance? Her her recent Fallon performance? Mm-hmm. It was cool. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't the greatest, but it was cool. Did anyone else see that performance? I didn't see it. Okay. How recent was it? Real recent, yeah, it was okay. a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I didn't see it. Like super recent. Okay. So, what's your issue, Joe, with, with some overall? Her energy on stage. Her- yeah, and I, and I, and that's why I got it. I wanted to say to Justin that uh, not just Justice that uh, even in the the my criticism of summer, I ended it with I appreciate this criticism. I appreciate. I appreciate being able to watch somebody develop because we've seen her from the start. Mm-hmm. This is someone who just started doing shows. You're getting it together. We've seen the we've seen the production step up. We've seen the stage step up. We've seen we've seen it. We've we've grown with it. So I appreciate that part of it. And I said that. She gives a shit fucking show. But how does she give a shit show? If you see Summer Live, when you're a singer who's singing R and B, what the fuck do you want her to do? Toot and boot? I want her to have nigga. A, she's oh. gonna give you her fucking vocal. She's gonna sound just like the record, like exactly what you pay for. It's a fucking chill show. You're gonna do do your wine, get ratchet if you want to, but that's really it. Justice, what do you want her to do? I want her to put on a good show. <laughs> What's a good show? I'm retired, so I don't know. So Snow Allegra's show is great, phenomenal. Snow Allegra's a it's a good artist. I really like Snow Allegra. Why you, we're not talking about artistry? We're talking about performing. That's why I'm confused when you keep, I keep talking about a show and you keep telling me, she's a singer. She was singing. What do you want her to but do? You haven't what, been to, what the fuck? But you haven't been Is to that a, the line you But saying? you haven't been to a summer show and Joe stopped that because, again, now you're just going to pull Snow Allegra out of nowhere and put her into fire. So now I'm, I'm going to have to. The reason why I keep running away from that is because I'm not trying to compare two women. Right? You shouldn't. So, exactly. No, but you keep, you keep pulling me into it. I'm just like, yo. Because you keep asking me what's a good show. Okay, so what make what what constitutes as a good show? If you're a singer and your go, and your job is to go up, I just there saw and Mary. Sing, I just saw Mary give a phenomenal show. Mary, Mary be dancing. Yo, right, so let me, you let me, just let me sound try to like add you have points. a lot of what reasons. What constitutes to, no? What constitutes a good show is my question. You're not answering my question. What constitutes as a good show? The fans leaving satisfied. The fans leave satisfied. You're literally running with fucking Twitter rhetoric. I'm. I'm not, but I'm not. I'm not going to continue to argue this because it's your artist. No, it's not. Maul, Maul's at the show. Maul, keep it a buck. Tell me if the show was not good or. or, no, I, told, or I came in and told him she, she did put on a good show. But Maul also really enjoyed the show that we went to together with her. I'm not, my my glasses are different from his. I un- see the difference is I understand the entire like package of summer. She's a new artist still, right. and that's why I keep trying to tell like. She the should fellas, be allowed the room to be a new she, artist. She should. She she has to. She still has to grow. Like there's no secret there that she has right. to grow as an artist, as a performer. She's off to a great start, but you're still gonna have flashes of new artists. Right. We know that she has social anxiety. We know she's shy. We know she. We know all of these things. Right. But even in that, I feel like she still gives a good show. Right. I think that the show that Joe went to last year and the show she does now, it's a huge difference. Right. 
I think it's summer. It's, she, it's two girls, two, Look at two this. dancers. Look at this. You cannot defend this, boo. It's enough with this massage in y'all fucking relationships. She is standing up there looking unenthused. Joe, everybody, I, I could show you a million I've artists. Never, then show me one more. I've never been show me one more. In my life. Then show me another one. What do you I, I, want her to do, my nigga? She's standing there singing a ballad. You want her to twerk? Bro. She's standing there singing a ballad. What do you want her to do? I could show you a million people. She's singing. People she, she, she makes like stand there music. Nigga, she's singing. <laughs> That's what singers do. They sing. Don't worry about it. That's not. This is not a conversation to have here at this podcast because y'all not gonna keep it a bean. No, we I, gonna I, keep it. A, we gonna right, keep it. A then let's keep it a bean. I don't. I don't. Bean. I don't want to see nobody that call themselves a performer on stage tapping a fucking leg while they're in front of a microphone. Justice, it's defend a, it's it. It's a million people defend that have done it. that though. Hey, it's Jesse Boykins. Let's move on. It's a million people that let's, have done let's, that though. Let's what does move that on. mean? I'll, I'll keep my opinion. Y'all keep y'all. No, that, no. But yeah. I'm just saying. Have you ever heard of the Temptations, my nigga? There's a million people that stand there and tap their legs and fucking tap their legs. If it's a song like that, that doesn't mean it's not a good. What a does good that even mean? The Temptations See, start. The-, the Temptations. Hold up, you shut the fuck up for a second. The Temptations come on, tap their fucking leg, then they start snapping in unison, then they spin around. They do a whole bunch of shit up there, which yeah, is why not- they've been able to perform for a million years, even after the lead singer fucking died. And you got the nerve to compare Summer Walker to the no. fucking Temptations? No, I didn't. Can I, I get didn't. an accurate I comparison didn't. I didn't. of what you're trying I didn't. to say? I didn't, because you did some bullshit. You said if you tap your leg, that makes it not a good show. No, I'm talking about her you, you are tapping just... her leg on Fallon like this. So, so what would you like to see Summer do? A dance, show! Do a dance, good show! Dance? Are you talking about dance? That would help. All the other singers are trying to do it. <laughs> that would help. So you want to see the singers that can't dance try to learn how to dance to improve their show. Hey, the singers that can't dance will go get backup dancers to fucking. What the fuck are y'all knowledgeable people she, saying? She has dancers. dancers, and she still looks bored at the show. I want the performer to never look bored. I say that to y'all on the podcast. Y'all don't come in here sounding bored. Y'all, y'all could be in the best mood ever if you sound a certain way. It's a frequency you give it off. We've had those talks. That don't change with summer. But yeah, but I think I think the okay, part now, that you missed. Now, now I'm starting is... to understand. It took a while for you to get to that point. Okay, okay you're cool, saying yeah. her energy and what she gives off seems like she and doesn't want to be there. It's a shit okay. show. Right. Yes. But before I didn't understand what you was trying to get at. You was just saying it sucks. All right. Now we have some context to what you're saying. No, me and I, you have had I, this whole I, conversation I'm, at the Snow Allegro. I know, but no one that's listening to this has heard that, so I was waiting for you to get to your actual points. Well, the point was, standing in one spot is not what makes it a bad show. I, I'm never I, mad I at anybody to, who stands in one spot. I'll loop you to that point. So you could make one because it was just Snow talking Allegra that it stood sucked. in one spot. Shit, I stood in one spot. There's a million people that just stood there. You can stand there and be responsible for the energy you give off at your live show. And sorry, I don't take I have social anxiety and I'm an introvert as an excuse to have bad energy during a performance. And this is not an isolated performance. It was shit energy at the first one. You telling me, all right, that was she was a new artist. Cool, I'm down with that. When Usher came out and I see the I seen the clip. It looked like shit, Justice. Well, the sound system at the Nova was. Dying. It looked like shit. Can y'all stop with the bag of fucking excuses? It's not. She's what are you on talking tour about? And it looked. But I'm, Joe, you you missing talking, something. But you missing something. Missing? Here. You're missing something here. Summer's whole thing is the shy girl that's like speaking to her diary. She, that's her whole thing. She's not the overtly sexy, loud, boisterous, twerking. She's not that girl. She's now girl. she's sexy. She's the girl that you see at school. She doesn't talk to nobody, and then the night of the school Man, dance, look at this. she comes out and look she has a dress on. Like, Don't what tell the me fuck? about who Summer is. Just that's, use your but eyes. That's who she is. And look at the screen. That's that, who she is. That's bro. fine. Then everybody ain't built for the stage. See, and everything she keeps telling us about her uh, anxiety disorders and all this other mental health shit. All that says to me is maybe it takes a, maybe you need a little more time you know before what? you are touring and you hit you, the stage. You know what? But she's too big of an you, act. It's too much money. Do it's, you know what? Do you, do you know what this says to me? Is a bunch of antiquated thinking. Give me. Because you are lit- you are literally saying that hey, there is only one way to do something. There is more. See what I love about well, why did I say that? What what I, I mean, what ba- did I say to make you say that? Basically, because what Maul just try to put in context again is. Again, you have to take into totality who the artist is, what they stand for, and exactly what they're trying to put across. Justice, let me, oh, let me, let me finish. But, but real quick before I forget, you both are wrong in that. A consumer does not have to do any of that. Doesn't have to do A that. consumer don't have to take into totality none of that shit. A consumer get to buy a ticket, look, and leave with their opinion. 
Yeah, so but, now but, you continue. But in your opinion, you have right. to understand. But what you know, you're but, but but you have to have. Sorry, I didn't no, mean to cut you off, Ma. So like, at the end of the day, you have to. Have, before I buy a ticket for somebody, I have to have context on what I'm buying. If Summer, if her whole thing is, hey guys, at the end of the day, I'm already fucking anxious, right? And to be and to sing in front of a crowd, singing first of all is the most vulnerable thing you could possibly do, right? So to be to be that vulnerable, and and then Summer's whole thing is her lyrics. And her lyrics are, ven- are are very vulnerable. So again, that is her whole essence. That, that is what is the attraction to her because she's not trying to be what she's not. There's more than one way to do one thing. You don't have to fucking snap and turn around to give a show. If I like Summer Walker because I am going to go to a Summer Walker show, yes, because I want to I want to hear the hear her and connect to her music and and literally listen to the lyrics that I've been fucking dying over. That's what I want to see. I'm not going to Summer Summer Walker show to see her. Twerk and turn. That's not what I'm going. I'm going. To, I'm going for, uh, to see her for. And you have I, to know where you're going. I didn't like that bum stop, ass. I didn't stop. Stop. Like, try, stop I, trying to copy and paste. There's more than one way to do something. Copy and paste. I'm the first one to secretly say she gives a shit show. The second I left no, that no, no. show, no, I said I'm saying, no, in I'm private. Saying, no, I'm saying you're <laughs> copy and pasting your idea of what it is to give one sort of show or what constitutes a good show because it's a million different shows that I've been to. Million different shows. Like, million different shows. They all have to do with energy, though. What do you mean? Every, every show that you name. No. Because I'm not saying I've been to a Lana, Del- I'm, I'm, a Lana Del Rey concert before. Sure didn't even fucking move a beat. But you know what? I was so mesmerized by me actually seeing a fucking artist that I love and her sounding just like the record. Oh, so you want a lot of stupid fans. Huh? So you want a lot of stupid fans. What is stupid? Because so you, you, you tell me. It's no, an no, antiquated way of no, thinking. No, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm just repeating what you just said. You want fans that's coming to the show just to connect with music that they've already connected to and not really give give have many thoughts about how this music is being performed cuz that is what you keep saying that's not stupid it's subjective no 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 no, no. again again when i listen, listen to summer's music stupid, when i listen to summer's word. music the time of the day i listen to summer's music is usually at night half of the time i'm chilling burning some fucking candles drinking some wine vibing right when i go to a summer concert i expect to do the same thing tell me what you tell me what you think about that Instagram post she put out that said, hey, if you're coming to my show, it's to catch a vibe. That's not what she said, bro. See, again, fake news. You be on that fake news alert. That's not what she said, bro. Fam, news I alert. follow Summer Walker. But I, that's not what she said. Are you, gonna, are you, not, are you actually going like to say everything she said? Hey, stay, uh, scream in. Pull up Summer's... Uh, I tried to shoot you some bail. What she said is probably actually a lot worse. She, no. she explained her. Summer has always been. See, show. the thing about Summer is the thing about Summer is Summer has always been honest with her fans and with people who don't know her. She's always been honest. That's what. what that, do you, uh, that's the reason why. Justice. I, do you think we are in an honesty business? No, but 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 see, because you but see, just be saying no, no, <laughs> no. But see, and that's why Summer is special because she's pushing the agenda of R and B. R and B has never lived in this fucking mold before. R and B, you had in to live. What mold? You had the mold of you had to be perfect. You had to look a certain way. You had to say the right that, things. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. Name 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 another R and B artist in my generation that has literally has literally operated like Summer Walker, an R and B female artist, specifically female. But I guess I don't. When you say operate like Summer Walker, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, meaning meaning I don't push, think I don't, meaning push the norms of what is expected. What's expected is when you are an R&B artist, R&B woman. You are expected black, to have a good show. You, you ex, no, you expect you expect it to act a certain way. Summer Summer literally does herself. She's herself and through and through authentic and is going to be honest whether you like it or not. She's not scared of the politics. She's not scared of how you niggas want to swear. She's not scared of none of that. And that's what I'm saying. It's just like for me, she's really she's literally a reflection of all the 23 year old women that are like her. And the, and we need that. We need that to be pushed. So like all these. Oh yeah, you know you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do that. It's like nah, bro. She's literally a reflection of something new. It's really a re. It's it's. She's pushing. She's pushing the envelope. In my opinion, I would I would understand people being upset if they went to a Cardi show, and she didn't. She performed like Summer with Summer's energy, because the person that people love in Cardi see her energy online and they think she, it's a different energy. Right. I think what Summer gives on stage is exactly what she gives. On social media, what she gives in person, like, so I don't really see like how people will go to the show and feel like they were slighted. You also on record as wanting to beat who summer? Yeah, 
Am I on record saying that? You said that? I said she was sexy, yeah. But what, see, see that's, that's that fake news alert. See, see how you try to throw that? That he doesn't want to be? No, no, no. Oh. No. My, my, <laughs> ma- my, man, my man was making a very valid point, and he just threw it somewhere completely left. No, and, that's what and, Joe does. Yeah, well, yeah, you've, yeah, never, yeah. you've never argued with Joe before? No, 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 no. Exa- <laughs> no. Exactly. That's funny. Y'all, y'all push that narrative on me, and I think all, you, yeah. I think all yeah. y'all do is come in here and massage existing relationships or relationships that you would like to relationship. That's, that's no, no, what no, no, I think. No, no, I don't think I, you I niggas got, come. No, 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 I don't no. think you niggas come no, in here and, and keep this it is not that. This is not that, Joe. About people that we like, because we like summer. That's important to yeah. say. Yeah. That don't mean don't that we you can't point about? out that it's a shit show. And we, or, we or, also or, know justice don't that. care. That's our saying, only relationship let here. Saying, let me stop saying. Let me stop, let me stop saying shit show because I don't want that to be the the confusing part here, or that there's a lot of room for improvement. A lot nobody, in all areas. Nobody's denying that. Nobody's denying that. Well, we've been said that, but but, yeah, but you, you have to understand. If, she's if an you artist, don't though. deny that, then I don't understand why y'all keep rebutting the things that I say. Because again, you're running with a narrative that isn't true. If you said, "Hey, summer show," I feel like I feel like there's there's some improvement. Cool, I'm with you. But you are saying summer gives a shit show, and I'm like, that's not true because it's a good show. Do I think there's room for improvement? Yes. Not in the in the ways that I think in the ways that I think there's room for improvement, not the ways that you think are. Because I'm looking at this, I'm looking at, at this space completely different. Here's an example. No, you're just full of shit. Here's a better example. Summer Walker can actually sing, right? She's amazing. She sings amazing live. You don't even get a fucking different riff or ad lib to these songs at a summer show. I've I've seen that from other. I've never seen a summer show, so that's why I've been kind of quiet here, so I can't really so, comment. But I've seen other artists like, sing it, it sound, be, that sound exactly like the record. Uh, Parks, I guess your point there is kind of why I've stayed and why I'm not rolling with you all the way. You didn't even go to the show, exactly. <laughs> so that's why I can't just like get but on board with I'm you. To I didn't go either, so I have no comment it's a, it's about a whole it. I didn't show. Go. I didn't show. see we it. Went to last year. Yeah, it's a whole different. It's show. a whole different <laughs> show. It is. So I guess I'm yeah, not rolling with you all the way because you're talking about a show you didn't even go to. You know. You know. And I'm talking about the show I attended. I'm talking about both. Oh, we can talk about the one at, at Bowery Ballroom. You was there. I'm, I'm talking about both. I'm talking about what I'm seeing online and what I saw in person. Okay, but a show at Bowery Ballroom. And my point is, yes. And they're, a show at Terminal 5 well, are different shows. Hold up, hold up. And, 600, a show, and a show on Fallon should be different. But you've been trash in, in multiple venues now. No, 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 no. But again, 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 go into context. If again, you trash on, on, on Fallon, you on, cannot defend hold on, that. Hold on, go, go into context. Have you watched her Kimmel live? Uh, I'd have to see it. Is this it? No. Oh. You okay. have and, to and see I'm, it. I'm not again. speaking I'm not speaking to the, the late night shows because those are whatever. But when you're going off Twitter videos, I've taken videos Bro, at shows that I I've, I've I've taken them and I go back the next morning like I'm not posting that because it doesn't even represent any of the feeling that was in that building. Mm. It's on my iPhone. The audio sounds she like shit. The, the feeling her sounds like has, shit. Her show now is a lot better than it was at the Bowery Ballroom. It is. Six hundred people to six thousand people. It's a it's a complete different show. She knows she knows what the work she has to do, and at the end of the day, Summer's really on some like yo like honestly like I'm I've been honest with all y'all niggas from day one, and if now the niggas that aren't a part of my family, which are her fans, that don't understand her journey and don't understand what the, what the fuck she's trying to create, then she's just like all right cool like you know what I'm saying like I'm, I might just like sit this one out because y'all just don't appreciate exactly what I'm trying to do, and I feel her, I feel her because niggas just running with a narrative. No, they're not. They yes, have a, they are. They have a Joe. Talk Wait, about running they, with a narrative. They, they, there are. Opinions. You haven't been to a show. Are, I have been to a show. We don't want. I don't want to keep repeating the same shit. But y'all can't keep dismissing people with opinions because they differ from y'all. It's not people pulling from osmosis that Summer Walker gives off a shit show. But Joe, it's you, not you, just. You, let me finish. It's not just people running with a narrative or delivering fake news or watching a clip and forming an opinion. We have watched you go from city to city to city to city. I see the small improvements. I see. I like I said earlier, the, the set, the poll, the challenges, I see all of that shit that niggas like you add when you know your artist has a shit fucking show. That's not changing the energy that's coming from the artist. And as an artist, I'm looking to that. I'm looking for that energy. They don't say it. I'm not saying it has to be high. I'm not saying she got to get out there and jump around, do cartwheels, start twerking like you keep saying, even though she is a former stripper. So why the fuck wouldn't she fucking twerk? But that's fine. Because that's, that's not progressive. What? Yo! What? Nigga! Tell me when I said something wrong. Nigga! What? You just said the fact that at one point in time of her life, 
when she was 19, 20 years old. But couple old. that with, but I know, we know where you're going because I know it sounds fucked up, but couple that with you're a shit performer. So yeah, yeah. Wait, what does that, what does that mean? Because if twerking is going to add to your show, then you should do that. I've seen a lot but, of but, shit shows but twerking, with a lot of twerking. But, but, That's true too. <laughs> but see, That's true too. But see, a lot I'm of saying shows. They, should, they should be open to, y'all should be open to anything that, in y'all opinion, no. would improve the show. No, because if it's not authentic to the music, why, why the fuck would we do that just to please a nigga like Joe Budden? No, I'm not her demo, and I'm never pleased. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My point exactly. I know, but you can't dismiss you gotta the people stay that authentic. think she gets a shit show. You gotta stay authentic, my nigga. You, cannot you have dismiss to stay the authentic. The people that think she has a shit show. And this is rare. The too people long. that we don't think care. she has a shit show are the niggas that haven't been to a show. That's and my that's, point. Uh, but that's what I'm waiting for Joe to under, like realize. The internet does run. It's people that say shit. We say it all the time. It's, about it's, the internet. it's people exactly. It's people that but you know. You know that, that people will say an album is whack and never even heard the album because other people said it was whack. You know that. Like, we talk about that here. People will just pick up on whatever the masses or whatever a group of people are saying just to be recognized, just to get highlighted. Number one, I'm not showman, so I'm not going to a whole bunch of shows. Number two, I'm definitely not going to a show after I've seen a shit show. Like, that's me. I'm, I'm not a return customer now. <laughs> like, I, I don't, where's the issue here? Well, here's, here's the thing. I, Maul, all these narratives. You, Maul going to keep going to the show. All of these narratives like about all of these She's narratives going about fart. yeah, all <laughs> of these narratives about her show being whack, but then all of her shows after they said she was terrible and horrible still sell out. What does that mean? That means there has to She's be a phenomenal there has to be artist. some people that are She's enjoying a the show. Phenomenal artist. All right, so there has to be With some people that are enjoying the show. Album. There has to be I would some want to go hear that album live too. The, the same way I ran the snow shit, I need to hear that album live. I would want to hear Summer's album live too. But if right. it's just going to sound like the song and you're just going to stand there looking sad and fucking depressed, no, I'll put your album on. I don't have to have that investment in Joe, this. She in doesn't this. The, <laughs> point, the, the, point, the point we're making, as, and I feel like the point that Maul was trying to make, is that basically what we're saying is that the niggas that are running with the narrative that she doesn't have a good show oh, no, are the same niggas that haven't been to a show. They're also Because like, the niggas that go to a but show... I, I don't believe you, that. And they, I'm telling they're you... They're coming from the show saying it's a shit show. Now, that's not the majority. Show. That's not, not that, the majority. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on. I'm saying come on. But he has how to stop niggas, saying they have never been to... Stop invalidating niggas, niggas that, with opinions that differ from yours. How many niggas do you meet... Fans that will walk up to you and tell you how much they love you, but just to get some fucking clout, Big they'll fans. let some shit go. That's, true. That's literally the Summer Walker story. I literally watch every day because I, I went to every single show. I usually don't do that. But for her, I went to every single show and I was literally watching. Like, we would do meet and greets. I was literally watching people literally profess their love to her and she's like equally engaging. And the same person, just to get some fucking retweets, will go live on Wax and just make up some shit. It's crazy. So to close this, you agree that there is a lot of room for improvement, but everyone who says that in a not nice way is running with a narrative. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. I agree that there's room for improvement. A One. lot. A lot. Your, your, a lot. Your vision and my vision is two different things. So, like, from your perspective, how your vision is, I could see why you say a lot. For me, it's completely I know, because I'm not making a dime from her show. If I was, I maybe would not say so much. No. I mean, bro, at the end of the day, bro, Joe, you know we keep it a buck with each other. Like, I'm very, yes, very, bro, I'm very, you. very, very, very critical. But again, also, I'm very open to a new idea. I'm open to a new idea. Give me, give me... Because I don't want to dwell on this. We've been here too long. Okay. Give me, give me, uh, have you seen a shit show in this decade? I'm sure we all have. No? Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Is there a sneaky way we could say to say what the shit show was without? Uh, well, well, let me think. I would, I would just say it. <laughs> a lot of the rap shows where they straight up rap over the vocal for the entire show. That and their to tone stop. doesn't yeah, match. Yeah, wait, well, well, yeah, that's, that, 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 that constitutes as, as, as a it's bad a, show. And that's a lot of rap yeah. shows. <laughs> Actually, when they don't even say their, li their lyrics. That one, too. They just let it play and yeah. just, just dance just, around, just dance shit. and jump. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of a new thing, too, now that, that the kids are doing. Yeah. But that's cool. That's cool. It's a, now, diff but, it's a different type of performance. But stop right there, Justin. Could you, but could, Justice, because you could tell me I'm not open to a new idea. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to call that a new idea, rapping over just the song. But what, what do you think about the people that do that? I think there's you, Would that be you not being open to the new way of these people performing? 
No, there's a way to do it. I think there's certain people that can pull it off and certain people that can't. Certain people are just following a trend because they see what their, their favorite artist is popping is doing. And certain people actually have figured out a way to make it work. And like some people I, can't match their voice. Like when I go to like when I go to like a fucking Uzi show, for example, right? Mm-hmm. And Uzi's not the best, in my opinion, at catching his every lyric when he's rapping, but his energy is unmatched. It's like it feels electric, for mm-hmm. example. And that's something you can't buy, right? So mm-hmm. I under I, I would excuse that because he's entertaining me in that way. I excuse the baby when I see him do it. Right. So certain artists are good at it. Certain artists, certain artists aren't. Cause but I'm baby, just open to a new idea. Because the baby, I feel, I feel like he can rap every word if he wants to. Right. I do feel like that. But I feel like he's too big. He's doing too much traveling. He's jumping around. He's out of breath. So yeah, let some shit breathe for a little bit. I get it. I'm, I'm not going to hold that over his head. Mm-hmm. Uzi, I understand what you're saying too. Mm-hmm. So you do, you do subscribe to the energy thing. But when I mention it with Summer, you just talk like I'm... Um, no. Again, are you saying that is the energy? No. I, again, again. That's what you're saying. Open to new ideas, meaning... I understand that for certain artists and I understand uh, there's many different ways to do certain things. That's what I'm saying. It's like, if I'm going to be entertained by a performer going to going to a show to be entertained, I got to understand what is this artist trying to convey? So we need to look at summer more like Sade. Yeah. Obviously, that's Sade's, not Sade's fucking to. queen, right? Not, I'm, I'm, Summer's but, a queen too, but you know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah. Yeah. yeah like, that, that's what summer, you're saying. Summer is... Very, very, if you meet her in person, you've met her. She said two words to you, right? I know, yeah. And that's literally who she is in real life, right? And it's not that she's trying to be a certain way. Like, bro, no, she literally has the social anxiety. She is like, well, no, for I me, I had to well, learn I, I so much. Around in life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to go over it in the first place. Yeah, but, but having social anxiety from Atlanta, having social anxiety from New York is two different types of social anxiety. Tell me more. Nigga, you still got Atlanta's gotta, New York. Huh? No. No. Tell me more. A New York nigga energy and Atlanta nigga energy is two different energies. Explain it to me. Yeah, I would like to know and, the difference, too. Yeah. I mean, bro. I, I could just imagine us just walking outside. You have a different level of comfort with being around people than you would in Atlanta. Exactly. You're forced to have a conversation. Okay. You're forced sit, to, sit, you're sitting forced on a to packed defend. subway. I could imagine, even if you have social anxiety as a Roy New Yorker, you're still talk. <laughs> I, took, I, took, I took the train here. You're forced um, to defend. You're forced to defend. Right? Yeah, our social anxiety is different in New York than it is in Atlanta. I, I, will, I will subscribe to that. There's no space here to have social anxiety. It's like, nigga, what? Why you got social anxiety? Like, nigga, I don't have space, nigga. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But okay. in Atlanta, you have plethora of space. And I'm not even comparing the levels of social anxiety, but her shit's really real. But I'm not even going to lie to you. The it's fucking so real that y'all put her out there to do sold out meet and greet and, and sold out. Bit. Like, is that what you're saying? You say what? It's so real that y'all put her out there to do a bunch of sold out meet and greets and... Five five thousand person venue. You, you want to know what else oh, is real? No, 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 what no, no, else no, is real? No, no, real no, no, Pills no, are realer. No, 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 no. That's 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 the thing. That's what I want him to say. That's the thing. I want him to say, <laughs> yo, I really don't give a fuck about her social. No, no that's not what I was no, saying no, either. We get her, money. So her included. You she right there. has bills to pay. <laughs> no, let me. No, no. Summer does not care about money. Let me let me let me listen. I need him to tell us what she listen, cares about. Listen, <laughs> listen. Don't care about money. Summer only cares about. Summer only cares about music and love. Two things she cares about is music and love. Everything else doesn't matter, right? So, again, with Summer, if you notice, we didn't cancel the tour for any other reason besides her being a new artist and really realizing how fucking enduring that tour process is and her having to realize that too. She's like, yo, guys, I am losing it. Like, I have no more energy to give personally. I'm losing my mind, et cetera, et cetera. Like, Summer, we support you. Let's... But you gotta pull do back. LA, Chicago. No, let's pull back. No, 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 no. Yo, we love you and care. But no, you no, gotta no, do no. These five let's pull pieces. back. She was, she, she was like, yo, all right, maybe like, let me, let's not cancel all of them, but maybe some more. And we're like, all right, cool. Let's just try to figure out the best ways. At the end of the day, she still has a whole fucking. St- she's still a business. She has a whole staff. She pays at least like let her make her expenses back. So that this is kind of like where it's at. So it's just like with her, again, it's not about the money. She really genuinely wanted to wants to go out and connect with her fans. Right? Oh, no, she's special there. <clears throat> right? I mean, uh, but she genuinely wants to do that. But at the end of the day, it's just like, if something is too daunting for her, where she's at in her process, you know what I'm saying? It just had to be like, all right, cool. Like, let's figure out what's best for you because you're different. There's not one way to tour. There's not one way to do a show. 
right? So that's just kind of that's just kind of where we are. And like again, that's that's the artist development process. Is it's new in this day and age because somebody has so much fucking exposure so fast, you don't even get to know Holy what you're not shit. good at. Have we sat here and had this whole thirty minute argument about the same thing, dancing around in circles? And my other my other example is your other artist. Because I went to the, the black show the same way I went to the summer show early. But no, this was after his first album. Right. And black to me is kind of like summer in that I don't fuck with niggas. I'm to myself. I ain't. I fuck with black. But he seems like a low energy guy. Let the music speak for itself mm-hmm. and you feel it and you connect. And he didn't do too much moving around on the stage. And that show was perfect. Right, but you're just comparing two different humans. But they're, they 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 seem similar to me no. in what you're saying. No. From what you're saying. They're sim they're similar in in their ideals, right? They're blacks okay. blacks the same. Like as like for some reason my artists, I don't know, they and don't, they, they they don't care we, about we, we, we they don't him. care about money. Um next year. Next year for sure. He's like bro, the nigga was torn for 4 years. He, he, he had, had a to, baby. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I know that go. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So Again, that's two different things. When like, is somebody in this room like, gonna, gonna black, have a baby? Black, blacks, blacks, <laughs> develop, blacks development has started since he was fifteen. The nigga been rapping on the street for so long. Justice, I don't care about no, them no. anymore. No, I no. want to hear about your relationship problems. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not here for black and summer talk the whole time. Okay, how's your how's your personal life? My personal life is great, bro. Really? Yeah, You're shit a liar. Lit. Shit, <laughs> Joe don't want nobody. <laughs> yeah. don't want nobody Yo, happy. Listen, life is great. Yeah, like, You're a fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> my life is great. Yo, like, niggas, like some niggas are okay, Joe. Yo, niggas will not, but the niggas will not get on a microphone and just start talking about the bad shit. That's all. I do think people are great. Yeah, like it's just he had a great year. He had a great year. Are you saying business wise, he had a great year? No. You can have a great year and still have a shitty. No, I'm no, not. but that's why I said business wise, he had a great year. Business wise, same person. Yes. She won. <laughs> Says she won? <laughs> Says she won. We both won. We both won. Uh, I like it. it. I mean, see? Give, like, give him like some like credit. Mm-hmm. I feel you, bro. Give him some credit. I like, I like it, Just. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Wholesome. We won. Yeah. All right, this is the wholesome side of the podcast over here. What side is this with me and Maul? Uh, not wholesome. Oh, Damn. please. <laughs> Don't do that. I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need a girl to be my wife. What the fuck is it? We're not wholesome. We're internationally yeah. known on this microphone. Yeah. We got it all. I think me and Joe are wholesome. Hood rat chicks that only rock sneakers. That's I know y'all it. style. Yeah, that's still wholesome. You wait, y'all don't think me and Marla are wholesome for real? I don't know. You know we're wholesome. All right, what else is happening that's important? Now, you guys are actually pretty wholesome compared to yeah, see? People, friends I know. Yeah, I'm a wholesome guy. Is Summer still with... Uh, Yo, I don't want to talk about summer at all. <laughs> it's just she's still with segue. homeboy. Oh, London. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just fucking. Yeah. They seem like really in love. Yeah, it's great. I, I love their relationship. I think I think he's awesome. He he helps her find her confidence, and and, and, and a great album. And produce the entire album. <laughs> <laughs> no, great no. album. I wish I wouldn't have cut him. Well, he has really unique ways of saying this. Just. Same thing. <laughs> Say some shit that you get. He helps, her, he helps <laughs> her find her confidence. <laughs> no, he does. He helps her find her confidence in what it means to be like, you know, what what it means to keep pushing forward to find the love again in the music. Because in the in the music, because you do music in your bedroom and it happens to take off and people love it. Now people want to change exactly how you make music and all the fucking criticism and scrutiny and the popularity all the shit that she doesn't give a fuck about is it, it kind of discourages like yo like it's kind of taken away from what I actually love about this shit right right and you know and we're not crying about the nigga that's winning but more so it's just like sometimes you need people in your corner to like to help remind you like yo like this is this is why we do it right, right. and so he's producing and that's, in love that's, that's awesome does. yeah yeah no it's fire so he's producing yeah. and providing confidence yeah no that's important yeah yeah yeah, right. I like and, it. And 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 she's adding a lot to his um, discography as far as like showing how talented of a of a producer he is. That is true. I can't argue with that. For sure. I, I came on this podcast when the album came out and said I had London on the track fucked up. Me too. I, I did a, too. I, I had him all the Me way too. fucked up. We all did. <laughs> I tell him every time I'm like, yo. But how would I know yeah. that he could produce such an amazing R and B album until you do it? We got a That's, good gift. Yeah. Yeah, because we put you on a podcast <laughs> twice, is LVRN going to buy us a, a truck? Word. What's up? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. For um, for 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 your next re-up, I got you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, we deserve trucks. Yeah. And by the way, whenever a nigga say trucks, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 <laughs> no. no. Hell no, it was never happening. Right. Um. All right. What else? What else is important in the universe? I think we got to walk a uh, record back that we killed, Joe. And be honest. <clears throat> Let's have an honest moment for a second. All right, I'm down. What we killed? That loyal. That loyal record is not that bad. Yeah. What Party record? next door and Drake. It's, it's not that bad. We killed it too early. Oh boy. Not saying I love it. Not saying I love the record, but, but we but. killed it too early. We killed it too early. Okay, so I'll use the words you just used. You a it. not that bad record from Party Next Door and Drake should be killed. No, that doesn't mean that. I know I, I understand why you say that, but no, it doesn't mean that. Those two I, artists should not be putting out not too bad music together. No, but we killed it. And that's not even my argument, but I, I understand what Rory's saying. No, my, I understand what he's my saying. My argument is party at this juncture couldn't did not have the luxury of hey that's not so bad mm. like I don't think people should be able to that was the point I was trying to uh, say when we had the conversation I don't think people should be able to disappear for a million years and come back with oh, that's not bad <laughs> not without us altering I understand no, I Why? agree I agree huh Why? what were you doing uh, trying to reinvent yourself, trying to figure out what you wanted to say. I'm all for that, but when you miss, don't we have to? Don't we have to acknowledge it? And um, and when and when you miss with something that almost feels thanks. like you, I don't want to say chase the sound because because that click helped make that sound popular. But you're still chasing some old shit. That's you know what? Like, it's not it, that, you're not reinventing yourself. You're you're going on some old shit, uh, and it's worse than what it used to be. And before you jump in, Maul, that's another part of. Why y'all are gonna get killed? Every sound this decade probably stems from y'all, mm. and y'all and y'all got the nerve to run with a sound for too long. Like that's just not acceptable to me. I, I think that's part and if of, it was the the best sounding part of that sound, of that. if that makes sense, like it it was a lower quality of that sound. Yeah, Tory Lane shouldn't be able to do that sound better than y'all. No, that just shouldn't happen. But your thoughts. I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I think that it was a I good. Think the case. I, I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think I that think. it was a good record. I just think that. Can somebody play that record? Because I only heard it however many times. We just I, don't I like the way it, it looked. It was. A, it, it, it went in. It was. A, it, was a, it went in, but it was like you wasn't supposed to make that shot. I, yeah, Maul, man. The thing about Maul, Maul is so unique, man. His, that was a his, great. His, that's what it was for me. Like after listening to it a few more times, I'm like, you know what? It's not a terrible record. It's just not what we wanted. Let me hear. It. Let me hear. It. Ever. No, but I'm trying to subscribe to what he was saying about, about Summer's sound, trying to be open and remain teachable about her sound and her vibe. And party sound like he's trying to do that vibe but still make you party. Like, you sound relaxed and calm and you want us to connect with what you're saying, but you want us to jam while we're doing it. Well, that's, that's party, in my opinion. It hasn't been in a long time. I'm, I'm saying the sound he's built. Uh, of yeah, course, we haven't loved... Recently, but, but Rory, I see what the problem is. Me and you've been out here, cold ass Jersey. Maul and Justice have been that's in true. LA. That's very true. No, 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 and was making after the club kickback with chicks that you just met vibe in the cold weather. You guys went back to the crib because that was the only place to go. Rory just made an amazing point that so, is yeah, spoken about. Kind of my problem in, in music. These when these artists move, shit gets different. 
Oh yeah, but that's natural. Yeah, you know natural. That? We know your environment. Is, is what you sound, create. Yeah, you create based on your environment. Yeah, I'd be a little nervous when certain artists. Yeah, but to the LA. artists, they're not announcing, "Hey, I move, check this out." <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, LA party. That's nasty. Yo, you can't announce yo, it. Yo, like, check like out energy LA might be party. different. Hey, well, you, yeah, then no. you're not a real fan. Mm. I'm not. <laughs> Boy, that's the problem. I'm not a real. You're not fan. a real party fan. You like? No, party. I'm a huge. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, I'm about to say, what are you talking about? You like party. Like, first of all, Justice, a fan don't mean that I have to love every fucking thing they play. No, absolutely. No, no, absolutely not. Absolutely, you don't have to I'm like everything. I'm the first everything. nigga to call shit trash. I can be critical. I'm just saying I'm that we killed this record too early. I'm the first nigga to call shit trash. But again, again, it's about context. Do you do you think the same way you can be turned into a fan of somebody that you can just be turned off of a fan from somebody? Definitely. For sure. Like, what has to happen for that to happen to y'all? Because I'm, so, I'm a huge party fan. They can but, say something, like an interview, like the way they act. Outside yeah. of music, sometimes it turns me off yeah. to artists. Uh, the older I've gotten, it just comes down to whether you make good music or not. Okay. Because because now with the platform where everyone can say whatever they want, no filter without even thinking, I I just stick to music now. Like I I really hate thinking about like where Justin Timberlake stands with me right now versus where he stood with me at the beginning of this decade. Same with Kanye, I could say, but we won't get into. But that you felt him. you felt. Off of the Justin fan train Justin's because nasty of music. and fucking disgusting. That's, that's how I feel about him. <laughs> those mad. records aren't those he, records aren't good. He's they're horrible. Yeah, they're With, really uh, bad. From the last and we album? agree. And yeah, now yeah, I don't, yeah, and I'm agree. so mad. Meek is throwing him a lifeline. Meek did a Justin Timberlake record. Yes. Yeah, he did. We haven't heard. Of, I haven't heard anything from it. They just showed us a little snippet of them doing a video. And I get to thinking, I see the psychology behind that, but I am so mad at Meek throwing. But as a Meek, line. you do understand him doing that record, though. No, you don't understand Meek doing that. record? I understand it in a, in, in a previous context, but not anymore. I because mean, it's because, still Justin Timberlake. Be, yeah, I feel that right. I, I really do. Mm -hmm. And Timberlake is a great mm -hmm. right. He's put out amazing records, but at the end of the day, it's like nah, bro. Niggas got to stop tapping into this fucking like. I'm with him. This 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 urban strategy to be able to get back hot again. Yep. No. Right. So you're I'm speaking from you don't you, you don't want Justin to do that, but I'm saying you do no, understand. No, that. I don't no, want no, Meek no, to no. do that. Meek Meek you don't want Meek, Meek, to throw Meek that is boat. more relevant by himself mm. or he whoever he Justin wants to. And, and he is with Justin Timberlake. At the end of the day, you know what it looks like to me? It just looks like a try. I yeah, mean, like, like, like it looks like a brand builder. Right. I understand what y'all are saying, but at the end of the day. I can't. I'm, I don't want to say too much on it because if this record is hard, we're going to be happy about this for sure. Absolutely. As long right. as good. I'm, as long I'm as always good going music back to the, the music. Good. Okay. As long as good music is the music is the product, I'm with it. Got gotcha. you. But if good music isn't the product, then nah. Like, oh, then let's kill it. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, but and, and I no, <laughs> see, no, I, and I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not with that. I, I disagree with y'all. I disagree with as long as good music is the product. What? <laughs> Dreams and nightmares, man, shouldn't be with man in the woods, man. But I'm saying out of that, you're right. Aesthetically. That's before I hear not, before I hear anything. Right. Mm. But why not though, Joe? Because Justin has great because records with rappers. I'm not, I'm not comparing. Symbolizes mm -hmm. what he's symbolic of mm -hmm. versus what I won't say what Justin is is symbolizes today, but look at this bullshit. This man in the woods lumberjack. This is fucking coonery. This is this is white coonery. <laughs> Cause he's going back to his roots. This is white <laughs> fucking he's mountain man. Look at that! Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, you ain't even see how he oh, came. How he came into the frame that? like that? How he came into the frame like that? Nah. You didn't even know. You didn't even oh, know no, we happening. killed. We killed homeboy that uh, walked across the world for doing that same move. Yeah, yeah. And we gonna let him do it? Well, he didn't have on a flannel with Tim. So Yo, that's not yeah. a Justin I know. B. It's a good, good. flannel too. There's a flannel with the tent. Justin got to be held accountable for this. Yo. No, he does. Yo, he yo, does. This I, is gross. All the Justins. Because uh, Justin Bieber is putting, so he's trying to sneak some shit out. And I ain't over the harmonizing of the nigger. I'm not. I'm not over harmonizing nigga. I don't care about journals too. Every right white now. person said nigga at one point in time. For sure. That's what Maul keeps saying. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it's not true. What? You know, Rory be in the mirror at home leaning into the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all gotta stop that nigga. He put, nigga, he put nigga where it's not the song. He ad lib. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, no, no. He be with his girl like, that's my nigga. <laughs> no, that's Sam. my nigga. What you mean? Why was I with the homies? That's my nigga. Sam, uh, Justice, you have met Sam. There's no way <laughs> Sam would ever let me get that off. What I will say, because I totally disagree with them about every white person has said nigga, but I've updated that theory. My theory is every white person has read nigga. Instead of that, 
No, obvious. every white oh, how you, how you, obviously. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got it. No, 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 Joe. I'm not letting you get that off. Let me assure you something. Every white person on this planet has said the word nigga out of their mouth. I don't disagree with that. I don't think so. Not maybe in public, not towards anybody, but when they at home. I don't I don't agree with that. If you think a white person in the middle of the night has not gotten up to get some water and hit their toe on the edge of the bed and didn't say nigga out loud. <laughs> what? You got, what? You got, because that's the time when you can get it off. Now, a white person so, can get that so off in front of me. I stub my toe and say fuck. <laughs> no, I said no, the no, 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 no. Because your first reaction is not fuck. It's like, yes, nigga, it who the fuck put this nigga? Like, All right. There's only one way to get to the bottom of this, man. Race relations. No. Parks has said nigga See, before. I'm every not. white person has said the word. That's what I'm saying. Come yeah. on, Parks. Everybody said, said nigga. Yeah. Every said white Everyone person said. on the Where planet. Where did I say it? In the house, in the, the bathroom. Wait, wait, hold on. If I'm Rory not... was home trying to tuck his jeans in the sock, he, he said definitely nigga. said nigga. <laughs> he, matter, he fact, said nigga. matter of fact, he put them inside his side and said, nigga, I'm about to kill him with this. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the opposite. Tell me, Quite the opposite. I said I, I, said I wasn't going to kill him. Rory got that. Gonna kill he said, them. nigga, these are shits, right? <laughs> You're talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Rory, keep it up. I was on the phone with Joe and said it. Yo, nigga. Wait till, I, wait, till, like, wait till I hit him with these. Yo, my nigga, look how I'm killing him with these, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's a fucking idiot. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know where I... Where you gotta keep it up, Rory. No. You Rory said is a it fucking, once. Rory's no, a kappa. Not, no, you don't say it no more. And, do not, and, not, and not in your conscious ways now. But you said it once. I'm, it listen, let me tell you conscious now. Yeah, I just Rory haven't now, said it. Rory used to be listen, white trash. No, 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 no. Listen, Rory's a cap, kappa, right? Yes. Up. Rory's Rory. a kappa. You're not gonna tell me Rory when he was pledging doing that shit, and they was making them do some wild shit. He didn't go back to his dorm room and say these niggas is tripping. Maul, <laughs> you're not gonna tell me you Maul, didn't say that. By I didn't yourself. pledge. Y'all <laughs> got this white Yo. nigga dancing on the screen. <laughs> Look at this nastiness. You mean to tell? Hold up. Let that play. But he's let, always dance, Joe. Let that play. No, this is filthy though. They can't see this. Our listeners. Is it the moves the or Justin yes. Timberlake is a dancer though? Yeah. I know, but just let it play. I just no, this pay. is this is sick. That's mode. the same moves he was doing in the Pharrell video when he Rory, was in, so in it's front never of, slipped out in a song. No, he was I, rapping I, your I, favorite I Wu Tang record. Yeah, come on, man. No, <laughs> it never slipped out. Rory, is no, I've read. I've read. No, every I've white, every white dude is a Wu Tang fan. I feel you. Take it to the grave. I'll take it to the grave. Take the grave. I've read it in my head because how you read. <laughs> it's just unfortunately how you read is how you see nah, things. Nah, you're supposed to catch yourself. N- oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa! What are they trying to make me read. feel right? <laughs> Look at y'all, man. Thoughts. This is crackery. This is gross. Crack- this is crackery. It's crackery. Yes, it's the same. Mo- Justin Timberlake this has been crackery. doing the same moves this for 90 yes. years. Yeah, but it's different. These are the same. Wait, moves. does he have because a fake Pharrell- hunting knife in his pocket? Yes, oh he's got buck knife on his belt. Because oh Pharrell's God. not sitting behind him on a fucking Maybach. Y'all, y'all have a, y'all upset because he's in the woods. It's what, it's what These are the same wants, exact moves. Wants to see, though. These are the same exact moves he was doing with I, Pharrell I, in the parking lot. I want to see Justin Timberlake dig into his white bag and come out with good product. Don't go get with Timberland and give me a hit. Don't go get with Pharrell and give me a hit. Don't go get with Hove or Meek or Britney and give me a hit. Well, you sit your white ass down in the studio alone and come out with something reputable. But that's He's not, done that but that's plenty not, of times, but, but that's not When? No, no, Justin no. has never put a hit out by himself? No. No. Huh? No, it's I don't not. know. No. Sure. A hit know. song? It's Cry Me a River, a hit song. Timberland. 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 That's Timberland. Timberland. Timberland, nigga. Like, that, it's that's not. Timberland. No, no, no. No, that, that's not Justin's aesthetic. Justin's, Justin's aesthetic is maintaining safe but having a little yep. Yep. black in it. I'm rolling. Oh, no, you're right there. I'm rolling. Yeah, yeah 100%. But that's a different but argument is, of Justin Timberlake putting out a hit by himself. No, not this by himself. is not by himself. Not by himself. This is oh, with right, someone then, that has given many people Then rarely has any hits. artist ever in the world put out a hit all by themselves. Yeah, yeah, maybe zero artists ever have ever put a hit out all by themselves. Fair yeah, few. no, 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 Fair no, 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 no. His his point Fair was thank you, his justice. point was a white artist teaming up with white people to to do a white record by themselves. Damn, you try to segregate us, man. Yeah, <laughs> you damn skippy. <laughs> yeah, we have to do that if after you get with James Fauntleroy and all of these geniuses, you go run your your ass in the woods. I think that for okay, the Woods also, album, he should have done also, like a country album. If he was going to go to the Woods, he should have went all the way with Theory, 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 put out Theory. Music from other people. Theory, I feel, like, I feel like all the niggas that he's been collaborating with have a vengeance for trying to get black music back on top. Well, it's already on top, but trying to like reestablish it back on top and sabotage this nigga, tell me, yo, this is cool. Run out there and do the Woods shit. I just don't understand he's why nasty. y'all keep trying to... All music is black music. He's nasty. So... That's a fact. I mean, it is what it is. Y'all keep saying All right, Sunflower. 
I'm just it. saying, it is country music. Whatever y'all want him to make, whatever yeah. music y'all want him to make, well, it's, it's be, black music. It's gonna be black music. Yeah. Period. Country, alternative, pop. It's it's okay, black. That's music. a new a new point. Yeah, but make some good shit. Make, no, <laughs> make some good. This new shit. I think that's the good. bottom line. Yeah, this new shit is not good. No, this new shit is not good at all. Right. Don't 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 get me wrong. I'm just saying. As far as him dancing and all that, he's been doing that. He's just doing it in front of a cabin now, instead of a fucking chicken shack. Which is that's fucking nasty. Yeah, well, I agree with you, yeah. But that's the thing. We don't even want him to do it in front of a chicken shack. Crabby River was a nigga was in the suburbs running around. Mirrors the niggas in the nice ass house running around. Like, the shit is amazing. Right. And I think the issue is that like, they just nigga, and he ain't got nothing to talk about. I feel you. And he has no direction. Because you know what it is? Being in sessions, right, with these artists, and... Because they're so disconnected from what is actually bubbling on the street, niggas be yes. so disconnected yeah. that they don't even give the songwriters direction to help them make a good record. Yeah. It's like, yo, I saw this fucking on Instagram, it's popping, can you help me make some shit like this? Mm-hmm. And that's what they put out. So that's the, that's the only reason why I'm scared for Meek as somebody that I'm a truly a fan of make a song with Justin because Justin probably yo like I wanted the dreams and I wanted the dreams and nightmares fucking drums but like you know what I'm saying like can we get Meek on it too of course you get Meek it on it you're Justin be, Timberlake it better not be that you're it fucking Justin Timberlake of course you can get Meek on it it better not be that God, I, I hope not. It not be and I want <laughs> black artists to start saying no mm. we won't yeah but that's what I'm saying that's the shit that we gotta fucking rewrite I mean to one of y'all points about that Hip hop is now the, the the number one <laughs> genre. You don't need the crossover hit the way you used to. No, you don't. Like, crossover hit actually weakens your fucking like vibe. I, when when yeah. Nicki was in her early career, I understood her crossover thing because it wasn't quite there yet. But now hip hop is the number one genre in the world. You don't need the crossover record. The yeah, but pop, it was, pop needs hip hop. But it was nasty. That's their, yeah. their crossover. Their it crossing was nasty over to how even Nicki did it though. Like uh, like what the starships? Like, yeah, like like I mean, the, there's a safe way. Like Chris Brown had a safe way. Of still making some crossover shit, but he still, still, does it. He still yeah, does but it. he does it. He definitely does it. But still having like a like a, a sense of some fucking soul in it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But like, for example, then you see Nicki do it, you be like, God damn it, bro! Like you just gonna go all the way. Like Rihanna, fucking mastered the idea of fucking making a crossover record, but still being so, like, how do you make Rihanna, a Rihanna Harris, might be one of the how best, do you make a Calvin best Harris at that crossover record soulful, right? Yeah, she and might it's be one like. Of there's still a way about going and about it. Out because I, I do think Calvin Harris has like some white soul in him. No, no, no. He's no, he incredible. Does. He does. Calvin Harris is incredible. Yeah. He does. He's an incredible I, fucking yeah. producer. Yeah, that helped me put out a lot of really fuck with him. No, he's incredible. And, and, and he's really, I don't think he's one, he knows hip hop. He's incredible. Yeah, but yeah. when Rihanna was making records with Calvin, that was not the agenda. Got it. We found love. The agenda was not to be so far. I think Rihanna, her thing is she's always been able to have a sense of direction. And she's always is, been able to not lose but, herself in but, those moments. And she's also one of those people that really pays attention. So she doesn't right. need to go into a studio and say, yo, I saw this shit on Instagram. Try to recreate this. Right. <laughs> See, but y'all keep talking about people trying to catch a crossover hit. And I'm, I'm of the belief, what is a hit today? I think that people be, be trying to get crossover business. And they just don't really know how to go about that other than the way that we're talking about now, which is, hey, let me go try to make a record that will appeal to this mm-hmm. this audience that may not be so right. familiar with me, but maybe there are some other ways to get your business to cross over, and they just don't know yet. Right, I agree. I think I think the perspective of when an artist does a record that necessarily aesthetically might not look great is for international appeal, because Timberlake it's not about the United States; it's about his international appeal. He's fucking huge all around the world. So I can see me saying, all right, cool. Like, I want to fucking go to Stockholm and do 10,000 people the same way I can do it in Philly. You know what I'm saying? So like, all right, maybe I might need the Justin Timberlake record, right? There are different ways. What those ways are, are yet to be seen because we don't know because of the of the streaming era and it being so fucking immediate. But all I just say is just for integrity, for integrity's sakes, because I understand go get your bread, secure that bag. If you're gonna do it, at least make sure the record is good. Because we were at a point to where we would do shit, and the record, at least, the record wouldn't even be good. Because mm. I understand his agenda, cool on the agenda. I'm with you, my nigga. Go secure the bag, but make sure the song's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We gotta wait and see. It's tough goes. for me to. It's tough for me to. I, I can't kill Meek uh, for the Justin move the way I would like to because he has been so on point with all of his brand building moves right. in the past however many years. He's done a really phenomenal job at that. 
even just looking at him next to Justin, it was weird because I was looking at Meek. Like, look at Meek. Look at this nigga back there in a the homeless hoodie. It just <laughs> looks different. It looks different. Meek looks like the man, and Justin looks like he's still not over whatever happened with him and Britney. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga, go get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the nigga go get dressed so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's at, at his set. video shoot. Why, why, he's on set. He's, but why, he's not dressed. He, that's what he wanted to wear. When I wear that same thing, y'all kill me. Yeah, yeah, but it's you. <laughs> it's you though. Yeah, it's you. Gotta By the way, me. Meek had the best comeback I've seen in years. Yeah, you thought it was over after the. Uh... I didn't think it was over, but it definitely looked dim. Okay, but, but now, but, you, now but, you're contradicting yourself because what, what do you mean? You're following the internet narrative. Anyone with some sense knew it was not over for Meek Mill. That no, was all nah, internet nah, news and jokes. No, 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 no. Over for Meek Mill. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That Drake I, shit, I said that in the middle of it, no, too. No, I'm not, it's not saying over. 2020. It's not saying over because Meek was always going to be able to make good music. That's not what That's we were always arguing my about. We were arguing about how important is perception mm. because perception is, nigga, like, you lost that battle with, with mans and we, <laughs> we, <laughs> with, with mans. He, he is mans. <laughs> and, 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 and we perceive you to be Battle rapper Meek. This is not how you lose. I, I think Meek spoke to that though. I think he said he thought it was, he thought it was over after right. that after that battle. So, but 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 with what I'm saying is that again, and like that's why like I give credit to Meek and his whole fucking camp. Whoever is like you know helping him do his his shit is like his authenticity has been able to cut through. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to see what the Justin Timberlake record does because. Meek is so authentic and he's now going to do some shit that doesn't represent who he is. I'm going to say that that record is going to be fire. I'm going to jump out there and say it. I don't think it's a hot take to say Justin Timberlake and Meek Mill can't make great music yeah, Mo, together. I'm going <laughs> to jump out there and say it. <laughs> Nigga's still seated. It, <laughs> nah, when I do this, that means I jump. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going and thinking it's going to be trash. I'm putting money that's I'm, probably I, not going to be that good though. I, really? didn't th I didn't think Meek yeah. had to do it. but Because it's not Meek. It's not Meek's record, is it? No, I think no. it's I don't know. No, it's a, yeah. it's a I think it's a JT Timberlake. record. It is a JT record. So, so, so with what I'm saying is that the, the control is out of Meek's hands. Uh, well, he did shit with Mariah. Is, is Justin that was Rock Nation? Album. No, Meek is Rock Nation. No, Meek is so Rock Nation. So then why would they be hashtagging Rock Nation? I mean, on... but you know Justin and Jay got the Justin yeah. and Jay. And that's from Meek's... Is that not from Meek's account? No. Oh, no. That's some, yeah, some random stranger hashtag Rock Nation. <laughs> yeah. And then Meek, is in, have an Meek is in the background They going towards Justin Like Justin's like Oh yeah I didn't think I was here <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Y'all thought I didn't show up for yeah, the video Yeah thought I didn't yeah. show up Joe they also hashtag New video and coming soon there So I wouldn't take but the But you know what would be hard seriously? though You know what would be fucking hard If he see, just took Justin off At the last minute No no just put What would be out? hard What would be hard See and this This is this when I stand For fucking appropriation All the way so What would be hard Is fucking if Justin Shot the video in Philly That's hard had the whole hood. That's out. not hard. No, that's hard. That's fire. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with uh, Justice? That's not hard. That's fire. I, if that happened, you know how nasty if I Justin's would look at Justice. If Justice fucking riding bikes <laughs> in Philly, singing Cry Me a River type hits, no, I'm rocking. No, that's, that's I'm not, rocking. See, that's that's not, that's, now that's nah, cooning. No. Nah, if I'm, if I'm you cool go to Philly that. and get on the dirt bike, it's like, all right. Fine. I'm rocking. You can't go from the cabin I'm in the woods to Philly with. and pop in the willy with a crackery. Yeah, we're not doing that. Yeah, you can. The only way out, the only way he could get that off is if. He got a chick on a bike with him. You damn right, Jessica Biel. And he's gonna yeah. send he's gonna send Crimea River, and then, and, then, and then he got he got Mika as protection. And he's he's riding. I'm with it. I don't ever want that's to see a video. I Justin click. Timberlake in Philadelphia on a dirt bike with, Meek, with, 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 with Meek's friends. Nah, I, I don't ever want to see Justin in Philly. Period. Memphis, I would. <laughs> Memphis, I believe. No, where is he really from? Memphis, I think. Oh, I don't know. He's from Memphis. He's from Memphis. Oh, well, he's going back to his roots. Uh, that's what I said. Let him rock. He's a country boy. <laughs> Let him rock. Man, get that nigga the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fi it's, it's fine though Cause Jacquees told us He's remixing all y'all shit Next year So who cares about Original music mm. I think people should Get off this kid's dick <laughs> Who Jacquees Yes Jacquees is a fucking trip No pun Why well, you uh, don't fuck with him Joe? I see what you did there No I do fuck with him Oh okay that's, But that's what I'm saying Like He said this And everybody killed him Like oh nigga Do your own songs Fam he just put out His own album With 21 songs on it It was mad long And it was good And it was called The King of Art It was good It was good Ooh. Yeah yeah, that was That's it tough was, It wasn't bad Yeah I, I didn't That's just like it was tough. I didn't love it But I didn't think it was good It was in the middle Why, why, why is that so shocking That Jack Weed put out a good album No 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 I listened it's, to it I'm saying that's oh, tough content Oh Oh 
Ooh, spicy. We like R&B? I love R&B. That was a good album. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Mm. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Huh? Chakwee's Dig into your Serato. <laughs> <laughs> Dig into your Serato. Come up with your defense case. <laughs> what you, month was this that this came out? It's been uh, out for a Last bit. month. Uh, October. It came out October. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been enough time. Like to live a couple it. weeks after. Maybe it was like the party uh, record. You had to go back. You had to let it live. Oh, it was, the album was okay. It wasn't. Come on, guys. All right, this is okay. When have you ever said, "Yo, let's slide that Jacquees"? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you y'all y'all see that? And that's why I don't understand some of the criticism. Before we get into the album, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up let me play this for just y'all. Somebody talk. Oh great! Somebody talk. Well, Rick, but what what are you? What album are you playing, though, Joe? Are you the going to er- play his new album? But okay. I didn't know that he was shitting on Jacquees so much. So <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I think he's a good artist. I just think the album's not good. Is this song good? And this is not on the album. What? This is not on his album. You. Yeah, but why would you play the song if it's not on an album? Because it, sa- it sounds like you saying he can't make no, good. He said music. he's a That's good artist. He said he doesn't like this album. I said I just don't like the album. album. All, right. All right, so let me get this album then. All right. Uh, do, 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 I think the album had no direction. And just, and just playing one song is not saying it's good album. And Summer's on the album, by the way. This is this this is that song. This is that song. You don't like this song? No. Interesting. Okay. Oh come on. And the mix was awful. <laughs> that should sound like a telephone. Come on, man. Knock it off, Justin. He put out a good album. Like you, Joe Budden, on wax, calling shit trash. You call the party record trash and you say this is a good album? Good. Like, Fuck out of here. See, we got to stop that. Like, We also don't do this a uh, good album. podcast on wax. It doesn't go on record. It's just <laughs> like a, just a good album. Like, Records what, aren't wax. Either, like, what, so. does, what does that say? <laughs> it says that somebody produced good music. <laughs> like... Why do we have Justin to is, either? Why Justice. do we either have to? Why do we have to be extremists all the time? Like, why? How come? Because it's not fire, fire, I didn't or say the craziest that. thing. I didn't say that. But you say it's not good. I said a good, good for me. Good for me is sixty percent. Fifty, this, this fifty is, is fair. Good is sixty percent. For me, this is a fair. This is twenty. Oh shit! What is the beef between Jacquees and Black? This beef between Jockeys and Black. See, I just created something. No, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. See, I, I just confused. created something. You, yo, damn, my damn, that's that's interesting to me. You don't fuck with him like that. But see, Joe, but that's funny that you say that because to me it's the same thing with what you're saying about Summer's live show. Like you're saying just because she's not doing things a certain way that like other artists do it, that it's trash. No, y'all keep saying I'm saying that. That's what you're saying, though. You're I comparing her to I'm, other artists. Like a, she no, doesn't do that. She doesn't true. do that. And it's I like, answered a question when Justice said, what other show have you been to where No, that's not, that was not my question. You, you didn't ask my me a question. question and I my said, what constitutes was, a good show? Oh, so I brought up the last show that I went to that I thought it was a good show. But you didn't, you didn't tell me what constitutes. You just named the person. That's not true. I said she stood in one spot and her energy what was different. What constitutes a good show, Joe guys, Budden? Guys, okay. Guys, and, we did. Well, no, we no, no. Did, I know. We, we did, did it too much. So let me just try to concise it for him. This. Let me just try to concise it for him because we're going to go back and erase some of that shit. Uh we start with energy, which you agree with, right? No. You don't? All right, I'm not doing this. No. <laughs> Later on, you did go on and say that energy is important. No. I said for a particular artist, you understand what you're getting into. So you understand that you're going to excuse certain things that they're not good at to make up for the things that they are great at. And because those things are great, you're going to allow them to fucking blossom in their essence okay well how about this listening audience and viewing audience me and justin justice could give you uh the 51st minute to our same regurgitated <laughs> argument or we can talk about eddie's return after 35 years to saturday night live and, pick and, it and, and, <laughs> huh? what's the it. hot topic <laughs> and kaylani's return kaylani me put out right <laughs> She hasn't oh. really disappeared. Yeah, she put out a record. She put out a whole EP in March. Oh, I missed that. What'd I don't you, know. What do really you think of that? Move back for a minute. What think of the EP? Oh, he's yeah, going to trash it. He's going to trash it. Gear up. Gear up. You know what? I'm not going to trash it because four of the songs on there, how many songs was like six or seven? I like Something like that, yeah. And three of them I really liked. Okay. So that's I a like, good project. I, I really I like liked her album. That's a good project then for you. Yeah. It's a good Wasn't project. the album damn near that time too? N- the Nights Like This record is fire. Mm-hmm. 
the record with her and Black's fire. Mm. Butterflies of fire. Of course. <laughs> um, no, 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 of course. Clear, I, I fuck just, with you. No, he, he, you should know the Jack Queen. My heart yeah. yeah. just have their own minds. They hop on shit that they want to hop on, and it's, it's nothing to do with me. Mm. If the record's good, in my opinion, I'm like, yo, I think it's just fire fam, and I'm going to let you know. If it's trash, I'm going to let you know it's trash. Mm. But I think I think Kalani has been always consistent. She's always going to sneak in a hit. She's a good artist. Yeah. Oh, wait, this was, oh, this is what y'all talking about. Oh, I love this. This was, this wasn't an EP. This was an album. Oh, it was an EP. I was talking about this as the last album. Yeah, it was. This is a came out. Of was fucking nine, ten records. This came is an out album. Out album. Came this, out is, this is an album. Yeah, I like yeah. this one too. I like it too. Yeah, this shit's really good. Yeah, nights like this is my yeah. shit too. And the black record was really. Yeah, good. exactly. And the shit she put out today was awesome. Or yesterday, whatever the fuck that Kalani's, was. Kalani's Kalani's on fire. She's dope. She's I really like Kalani. Yeah, Kalani's on fire. Uh, we talk about Eddie, right? Yeah, let's talk about Eddie. Uh, I appreciated the monologue. I'm never gonna be mad at Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, Tracy Morgan, and Eddie Murphy being together in front of a camera. Hot take here. I would have loved a real Eddie monologue. Yeah, that's fair. And I would like I, a fu- I, I would like a funny SNL. Lo- at some point loved, in life. loved the fucking idea of bringing all these comedians together. I would have l- better if you would have just gave me an Eddie Murphy monologue. That's all. What's, what's better? Is. Eddie Murphy by himself talking some shit and I no. like Chris Rock better than Eddie Murphy but I just wanted Eddie to just get his shit off by himself I love the moment I get the moment but it was 70% of the monologue hot take hot take <laughs> like it, it Who, wasn't who's a better comedian in your opinion Eddie Murphy or Dave Chappelle I'm 29 years old I'm 29 years old everyone relax Dave Chappelle I'm 29 My I, I wasn't nigga. I don't say that word <laughs> Um, <laughs> Damn, I thought you had him right there, Justin. I, I, I thought we had him caught it. I thought we had him caught it. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. No, I understand. I didn't really live the delirious, raw time. I went back and watched it. I wasn't there when it happened. So I'm going to say Chappelle. And I know to a lot of people that's blasphemous. No, I don't it's think it's blasphemous. I don't think it's blasphemous. I don't allowing don't th- niggas to tell I, you that the it, fucking the first hip hop record to come out is the best hip hop record of all time. It's not though. The same way Eddie Murphy came before Chappelle, and yes, he paved the way for Chappelle, and yes, Cosby paved the way for Chappelle, but that don't mean he's fucking better. Well, well but Raw and Delirious are hilarious though. Yeah. Oh no, they're yeah. fucking amazing. Hilarious. They're fucking amazing. But they yeah, because because classic. Yeah. I get your I get your point, but Eddie Murphy is not rapper's delight. Like nah, no, <laughs> so, no, 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 no. He's yeah, Illmatic yeah. at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. At least. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. He's classic. He's yeah, classic. Yeah. He's for sure one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, he's reasonable paved, out. Paved something. the way. Paved the way. Yeah. But uh but no, Dave. I I would say just because of my age. Dave is dark Twisted fantasy. Yeah, he's, okay. re- he's reasonable doubt, Dave is dark Twisted fantasy. Okay. And, I, and I'm rocking with Twisted Fantasy. Oh, a reasonable doubt? Yes, sir. Damn, y'all some disrespectful niggas. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> y'all just be fucking disrespectful. Absolutely, I, no, I get it though. Especially if you're younger, I can understand. Nah, nigga, fuck your youngness, nigga. No, but but, but <laughs> nigga, I'm, gonna tell you, no. I'm gonna tell you why it makes the difference because I'm now having a conversation with younger dudes about Jordan, LeBron, the same way I had the argument about Jordan and Magic with my brothers and my pops and uncles. Wait, what's like, the argument though? Jordan versus LeBron. Who's better? Who's better at what? At their sport. At, at basketball. Yeah. Jordan is better at basketball. Well, who's a who's a who's, uh, a, who's well, better saying, who's better athlete? Who's a better passer of all time? <laughs> no, 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 no. T- Tim Michael Duncan. Jordan. Who's better? Who's who's better overall? LeBron. But what makes you say that with so much like? Because on and off the court, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, wait, are we talking off the court? That's what I was saying. That's why I asked you. I asked you to specify <laughs> who's better who, at basketball off the court. I, I, I asked you who, who's who's specified. We're talking about pound for pound fundamentals. Jordan is. Probably one of the best that's ever done it. I'm going to put this as clear as possible. <laughs> Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player to ever play the game. He is. He Period. is. He's my favorite basketball player that's ever Period. played the game. <clears throat> but let's throw a wrench out there. Honestly, I think Kobe might be better. Than Jordan? No. Yes. No. no. Yes. No. We to me, love, Kobe is better than LeBron. We, let me tell you I why we love to do this shit, bro. We love to fucking holy grail the niggas that came before us. No, it's not that. Rightfully. It's not that. Because Jordan it's not. But it's not just that. I understand what you're saying, but for me, it's not just that. So what is it? I'm just talking about- For me, about, it's that Jordan was unfucking stoppable for- His competitive- we, Are we talking about- And mind you- LeBron I has been stoppable. Kobe has been hated, very stoppable. Fucking hated Kobe Bryant to the- I hated, I hated all. Well, I, hate, I, never hated, I never hated LeBron. To the guts why? of me. Why? I hated Jordan. Because I'm a fucking LeBron fan. So that's why you hate Kobe? Yeah, you damn right. <laughs> that's just doesn't They don't even sense. have a rivalry. <laughs> I don't even think that shit is close, though. <laughs> no, hold on. One second. One second. 
I, I, I wasn't saying I hated him because I'm comparing him to LeBron. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I hated him. I hate, I, I, hate, I hated him because when you're a fucking innocent bystander fan, niggas just come, come oh, oh, LeBron won a championship, but Kobe's better. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. I hate Kobe. Right? I fuck it. I hate Kobe. But in the same breath, nigga, going back to watch those fucking tapes, bro, and watching the Jordan tapes, because I'm a student of, of, the, of the whole shit. Mm. Kobe one-on-one? Might be better than Jordan. No, no he wasn't. <laughs> Might be better I'm than sorry, Jordan, bro. He wasn't. He wasn't. Why? Because you could not stop Michael Jordan from doing whatever he wanted to. Oh, let me, you I, couldn't let me, stop let Kobe Bryant from doing whatever yeah, he wanted to. Let me add, no, let me yeah, add to Justice's argument. I, I 100% think that Kobe Bryant is better than Michael Jordan. My offensively. nigga! Offensively? Offensively. Uh, my nigga! What does, what does Kobe do better than Mike? <sighs> Kobe's a better jump shooter. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, that's true. He's a better fucking jump shooter. He is. He's not. He is. What are you talking about? Are you fucking insane? How? Are you How? fucking Mike, insane? Mike, Mike developed the three later. And the three. even even that was scarce. Kobe only shot like 32% from three. Co- nigga, 32% is fucking incredible. Fuck, fuck league average you, is 34. Are you crazy? Yo, I, I, I league just, average is 34. Listen, I get what y'all saying, but listen. I, I think Kobe I, is better than LeBron. I'm one of those guys. Why still, are you putting LeBron into this? Leave LeBron out of this. No, no we're talking about LeBron, the Braves. LeBron Here's a Laker. some sports talk. Yeah, but we're talking about the Braves. No, I was happy that, that LeBron I had a, gets a no friend scrutiny. with this. Bobby's with darts was a fantasy debate. No, but I, I like that comparison There's of no saying more debate, Dave really. Chappelle you're and right. Eddie, you're right. Mike and, 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 wait, and whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, what? Finally, after you're saying my dark, how many years you and I have been arguing this? Better than reasonable doubt because that was his. That was just no. My point is further than justice. It's the best rap album ever. Darks is a fantasy? No, 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 you're not ready. It's not even <laughs> all rap. Darks is a fantasy? So it's a lot yeah. of like. It's not top five. I was just saying it's a, probably. Top five? It's, rap it's probably, album? It's probably the. Yeah, nigga. Probably What's up? The Justice. third. It's probably I've been arguing the third with Joe for about nine best years album about this. this decade. Oh, it's the, it's the uh, best album uh, of this decade, but. Uh, number I would probably, one. Best I would probably album say it's number one, but I don't know. Kendrick's Wait, Dark Twist the Fan. Good Kid is my favorite album this decade. Favorite and best is two different things. It's also the best album this decade. Good Kid, Massey's not better than Dark Souls of Fantasy, nigga. Are you crazy? One hundred percent. Rap, nigga. Are you 100%. crazy? One hundred percent. Nigga, are you fucking insane? I am, but yes, it is. <laughs> I, I am. I yes, am. It is. I am. And Did you yes. hear fucking gorgeous? Did you hear how this nigga came in? No. Did you hear me. how Ross fucking came in with the humph? No. Did you hear? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't hear it. No, I didn't hear it. I I with the that. crashing fucking guitars, with the fucking background vocals, don't, with my nigga Yay coming in. Started. With my nigga, <laughs> with my nigga Yay coming in. Are you Justin, serious? You don't have to argue with Did me. Did you hear that new dress, my time. nigga? I don't think that my my, my beautiful dog twisted fantasy is better than uh, reasonable doubt though. Let me I I will listen How to reasonable doubt beautiful? before I listen to my beautiful dog twisted fantasy. But back to your favorite versus the best. Thank you. My Beautiful Thank Dark you. Twisted Fantasy I don't is like, a better album than Reasonable Doubt. I will listen to Reasonable Doubt before I listen yeah, to that album. But y'all two are also Kanye children. That's a fact. Which is why it's hard to have this conversation with Kanye children. But it's children. not, though. But it's not. Sure. But it's not. Why but it's is not. it not? Let I'm me tell having you why. difficulty tell, having tell the conversation. Tell, <laughs> let me tell you why. Me, <laughs> I, would, I would like to hear your argument. Let me tell you why. I would because like to hear your argument. What the fuck is he talking about? Because the first rap... Because, because, because as, as bigger of a Kanye fan that I am than Jay... The first rapper that I'm I did, the first rapper that I did fall in love with is Jay Z. How old are you? I'm 27. Yeah, come on, you can't just talk. No, 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 no. Yes, I can. Because we both can fucking understand lyrics. We both can fucking yeah, but you better lyrics. Huh? You yeah. gotta understand oh, of, the time. Of and course, yeah, you're yeah. yeah. not even comparing the time. Context. I'm, not the music, I'm talking about time. when the music actually came out. I'm not arguing the times. I'm not arguing about the album. I'm lyrics. talking about the I'm talking about the product of work. Mm-hmm. The same way you can argue in your context why Reason Without is better. The same reason I can argue in my context why Dark Souls Fantasy is better. But I'm talking about the quality of music. I do. I do think that that's better than the music is probably better. Yeah, the music is probably sure it's better. But why would you? But it's not even a fair comparison. It's not fair. It's not fair. Me neither. Why would you put one of Kanye's best? Probably me might say his is best. Is that not album. one of Jay's best? Blueprint is his best album, and I don't think that's a conversation. Do you want to have that conversation? I, Do you want to have I, that talk? Do you want to have what, which my dark, twisted, beautiful fantasy, whatever the fuck the long name I've, of that shit is, I've, versus the blueprint? Yeah. I've actually, I've yes, actually I had actually it, and I've went no. song for song. I actually do. I've had it before. <laughs> didn't Ye produce me, fucking Me and Ken went back and forth song so, for song. Didn't Ye, no. pro- didn't Ye produce blueprint? He produced on. He knows songs. how to fucking he, make that he shit. He produced on. Nigga. Well, why is he not making it now? He, he's... <laughs> Oh, because he disconnect- he's disconnected. Oh, okay. He's Kanye, done. Kanye did start the idea of Blueprint. Yo, he brought no in a disc. It, it's, it's on record. He's disconnected. He's he came done. in with a CD, and they started Blueprint off the 
nine beats that he had on that CD. Why does see That's only Kanye only, was literally the blueprint? Wait, Maul was oh, there. Wait, wait, Maul said out. we should do this. Only a Kanye. He was <laughs> only a Kanye child. Yeah, Maul said, "Yo, now nah, he's fire." Would even make would even make that point. You should make I, this I song cry, Jay. I don't care how he started the album. I don't. I, don't I know. Care. I didn't get that point either. But I was just. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I was just rolling with John. That, thank you. <laughs> wait, thank wait, you, what Kanye. Was my point? Wait, what was my point? What was my point? <laughs> Kanye making this album doesn't prove that to that point. That it doesn't. No, no, much no, no, no. What it, I cannot what believe it that you are about to argue that that album is better than Blueprint. What it tells me is that, yes, it is. Let me tell you it's why. Up. Let me tell you why. Music, <laughs> At all. <laughs> bro, it's not are, we, are, are we, okay, are we judging, it's a better album. are we yes, judging yes, albums and music or are we judging our affinity for a person? I hate this nigga, man. I really <laughs> uh, because, I, I swear to God, I can I see why, I, I can see why we say fucking Jay. I can see why. I can see why. Well, but if well we no, judge we know as, that Jay gets the human award over yeah, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we're, judging, <laughs> if, if we're judging it as music, nigga, what Kanye did in all of the lights, Jay didn't even fucking get an inch to on Blueprint. Justice, I want to stop your naive and ignorant 27 How is it ignorant? Ass. I'm telling you to give me facts. Jay-Z had 350,000 people go out and purchase an album when the towers fell. To the store. Are we out, talking oh, about now, affinity now, for a now, person? Now he getting sales. Are we talking out, about affinity? No, 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 no. Are we no, talking no, about no, music? No, I'm not talking about sales or affinity of a, a affinity for a person. I'm talking about the ability to get people to do something when no, the nation's mind is not on music. But it, and that, that that is powerful. It says something. Jay is fucking powerful. I'm not arguing that. Okay. But, if, but if we're arguing about getting a mass of people to do things more than Kanye and Jay, you're still losing your argument. And first of all, my, and, and, my and people talk to the The whole album okay. leaked six there, months before it that, came out, and another, it still didn't went crazy. That, that's we're not talking about fucking sales here. Let's talk about the music. Let's talk about the music. That's, that's what me and Justice was talking that's about. Y'all trying to make music. it a sales thing. Yeah. Yeah. And Blueprint's better. He trying to make it how? Blueprint's how parts? It's better. How? Blueprint's the lyrics are much better. The production is better. The songs are much better. The hooks are much better. It's mixed. No, they're not. Everything is much better. No, they're not. No, they're not. The lyrics are certainly better. Certainly better. No, we would never argue. Never argue. Never argue that. But to go out the window and say the music is better, I don't know. I you never no. want to rap on nothing on my dark, beautiful, twisted fantasy. What Everyone rapped on every beat on Blueprint. Yeah, it's true. Wait, what does that, what does wait, that what? mean? They're still rapping. That makes, they're that still makes, rapping that, on that, that, that makes it no even sense. Wait, 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 no, no, that no, actually proves our point no, better. No, no, it doesn't. I don't think so. Because, look, check. To y'all's point. Because they can't do what, no one else can do what he did on that album. To y'all's point. Anyone can rap, anyone can rap on a lot of those Blueprint beats because they're just great rap Regular beats. Just throw a nigga at the end of it. It'd be it'd, it'd been much fucking. Just because he put some guitars on that shit, don't make it the most extravagant shit in the fucking world, guys. No, no, Kanye. Bro, no, Kanye. I know. Kanye kids be blown away by all of the lights. Yo, Kanye kids be blown away by all of the. Wait, 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 I was 12 years old. What are you talking so about? I'm a not, blueprint kid. You're not a blueprint kid. Blueprint was the first album I purchased with my own brand. She's like, what are you talking about? How old were you, Justice, when Blueprint came out? Uh, what year did Blueprint come out? Because Rory just told me he was 2001. 12. So how old September were you? 2011. 2001, so I was, I was 11. So when I say uh, uh, artist kid, I don't mean you but were that's, a that's kid not when I bought it. listening to that's the not when artist. I bought it. That's not when I bought it. That's not when I bought Blueprint. That's not when I bought Blueprint. Because when you're a kid... You just get you 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 first off get introduced to music. Niggas that love Blueprint ain't even tucking their velours in their socks. <laughs> but what does that mean, Joe? It means that you, the same way you projected that whole affinity argument on me and Hove, I think that you just have an affinity for Kanye that nobody will ever take away from. Listen, cool. I'm I'm waiting for you to walk back your Frank Ocean takes. I don't want to argue about listen, Kanye. Listen, and listen, this isn't fair because I have listen, more of an affinity for Jay than listen, I do for Kanye. Listen, exactly. No, no, Jay no, just no, pays no. you some. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no that's, Jay, that's what, Jay lets you in the brunch. That's that's when I that's when I became a J fan was when when we started working together. That's yeah. when I became a yeah, J fan. We started yeah. proposing oh. together. <laughs> Summer tap. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's listen, I I definitely have more for finish with Kanye West. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Right. I have more. For but, right. Right. But as a fucking the person that introduced me to rap music. Yeah. Outside of Eminem because like it was so popular. Okay. Jay Z was the first person that I actually fell in love with the idea of what lyrics were. Okay. Jay Blueprint was the first album that I bought because that album cover was so dope to me. Classic album. Classic album. Classic album. Kendrick's Crazy. a fucking goat. One of the Classic best, One of the greatest rappers ever do it. What, what are we arguing though? And on my decade list, you see really what's number two? Album. 
I have this album at number two on my decade list. But hey, but but hey, Good Kid, Mad City, not even, better than Section I'm 80. I'm not even. I'm not even. I was reading gonna say, Good Kid, Mad City, not better, not better than Section 80. That's though. a fact. Good, that's a big. It's fact. Not better than Section 80. That's though. a big fact. Good Kid, Mad City, better, better than Section 80. 80 though. It's better yes, than Section 80. Fuck out of here. It's better than Section 80. Fuck out of here. Just I love Section 80. I'm with you. I'm with you. It's not better. Fuck out of here. Parks, if you keep saying that you stand with justice, I'm gonna I'm gonna mention your Kendrick take that you don't want me to mention. Which one? I'm trying not to do it. So just don't stand with him again. <laughs> the, the, that second album take. What's wait. that? Wait, no. I, 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 tell him. You my man. I don't want to do that. Oh, wait. I, no, I think you're confused. Oh, shit. Me and Parks. It's Rory. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. Joe. Joe. Yeah. Yo, ask him a question. if ask Parks him a say question. that again, I'm telling him. Rick, <laughs> <you're taking. laughs> Yo, Justice, I'm with you, Justice. I'm with you, Justice. What was Rory's take? I'm rolling with nah. you. <laughs> nah. 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 nah, nah. What was your nah. take? Nah. I don't know. <laughs> no fucking way. No, no don't fucking do that. way. It's the end of the year. Let's leave it here, man. Nah, nah, we, we, we can't. We, we want to upswing. <laughs> <laughs> we want to continue. Keep rising to the top. Nah, I want to hear. I want to hear. Nah, got... I want to hear Rory's take, though. Nah, we can't. We can't. Why? <laughs> because we just Rory's can't. white, so he can't really. I, I can't say give. His take. I can't give my take because of my complexion. Yes. Wait, what? You want to tell was, me? Okay, what was Kendrick's second album? And I and I didn't <laughs> use, and, I, and I didn't use the N word. <laughs> <laughs> you said you didn't. I did not use the N word <laughs> during this take. What was the second album? Was not no, used. No, no, what was Kendrick's no, second album? No. Section eighty. Section eighty. No. 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 Hey, give me some kidding. We, we rise to the hey, top. We have a beautiful podcast set up for y'all today. Real special guest in the building. Got my man, Cool Pants. <laughs> oh, I have my decade list if we want to argue. Yo, Justice always comes in here and just makes us argue about shit. No, bro. That's, that's why I like Justice. Me too. I like to argue. Because yeah. he yeah. likes to argue. Yeah. No, 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 no. And I like it too. I like to call Section back. 80 is like better than Good Kid. Section 80 is better it's than not. Good Kid, City. It is. No, it is, but it's I'm not. still waiting for Park's hot take on why Blueprint is better music. Than my, my beautiful doctors. I like I like the beats better. You like the beats better. Correct. Oh, okay. Significantly. Tell me why. Uh, I don't really like that many beats on. Shout uh, out to Forty Projects, <laughs> <laughs> Baisley Projects, all of the Queens neighborhoods that you can name. We can't punch correctly if you keep playing this. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, we still, that's how you know we hip hop is. We still get sucked into the blueprint the versus <laughs> yeah. Kanye arguments. But passionately, though. Word. It's necessary. Like, I'm sweating. Most I of this be. podcast is us yelling. Yeah. I ain't sweat. I ain't sweat last time I fucked, and I'm, I'm sitting here sweating. <laughs> Yo, about blueprint and dark yeah. Yeah, You will what? not say such things in my yeah, presence. Yeah, man. Like, come on, get my life. You know, you know what's the funny shit in the world with, with dudes that just really love hip hop? Anytime the party's <laughs> over and it's guaranteed that no one's going to get pussy. Oh, yeah. Time to argue about hip-hop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's drop the hip-hop talk. Yo, you're a what's the name? <laughs> and, and it's easy to pull hip-hop heads into. All you got to do is mention reasonable doubt. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Mention reasonable doubt, it's an argument. Classic. Shit went triple. Right. Facts. Word. So, so where, do you, where, do you put, uh, where do you put... Uh... Nah, it's because of niggas like he's white and go triple. I'm niggas, sorry? niggas like me? Mm-hmm. Where do you put I, Butterfly I in, the, in the discography? Wait, hold on. Let me just... Yeah, yeah. I bought that. Let me just kill him real fast. No, no, it's because of niggas like him, why didn't go triple? Because at that point in time, the point of view on what an album was supposed to sound like, Jay shit wasn't eventful enough. It was too chill. Mm. Reasonable doubt. So that's Joe's fault. He's got a point. Because of niggas like him. He's got a point. Oh, it's too chill. I don't like this. Joe, it is your fault that Reasonable Doubt didn't go play. (laughs) None of us us said that in Jersey about that album, by the way. (laughs) I mean, you say that now. Answer Park's question. Don't buy time to think. Hey, where, where's Butterfly Fall? Wait, Butterfly, think Butterfly in my Dark stomach. Twisted Fantasy is better than this <laughs> album right here? Wait. Wait. Butter, wait. Hold on. Two questions. Dark Twisted Fantasy is better than Reasonable Doubt? By sure. As an album, yes. Oh, no. Bro. No. All right. Well, Reasonable Doubt has 
a lot of better songs. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> we put this yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Cause they right. That's that is, that might which one be a has more album, good songs? But <laughs> reasonable doubt. No, has more no, no songs we no, love. No, it's not. Twenty five years it's later, not, bro. Yeah. It's not. I don't like blame game the way I like twenty two twos. I'm sorry. Yeah. Like, I just don't. I'm sorry. Blame game for it's emo. Definitely better for emo nigga like me. For emo like a nigga like me. Blame game is incredible. Look, look at his album. Blame game is one of the best songs. We going blame game over twenty two. Cashman thoughts. Cash Me Thoughts is fire. Oh, okay. But it's still better. Yeah, yeah. I, you trying phone? to get us to it's argue against better. this album is not going to work. First of all, if a, nigga, if a nigga takes John Legend, it makes a nigga sound cooler than fucking possible. John Legend has that voice. <laughs> what voice? When you he just sounds to, like that. Yeah. Are you trying to blame your chick? <laughs> that, that, just put a microphone up. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But he made the nigga sound incredible. And then he took Chris Rock, gave them the fucking stellar, stellar <laughs> performance. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> incredible. Chill. I'm about incredible. to have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I can't you. believe you're hating on all of the lights. I, mean, I love that song. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> There's nothing to hate on about that Should've song. Should have had fucking Rihanna, Elton John, and Kid Cudi on the See same you record. See you for... Oh, the, come on. Tell me about the other record they did that flopped that we didn't care about with Rihanna and Paul McCartney That's and just Kanye. Wrong. That was like on Super Bowl. That, that, that song was Super Bowl. I love that song. I love that song. I love that song. I love that song. For music sake... Yeah, Come on, yeah, bro. You, you're, you're not about this music shit, bro. Justin, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not about it. You he's can't, you can't, shit, you can't say to me, yo, music shit. When as soon as that song dropped, people were thanking Kanye for putting this white guy on. <laughs> what? That's what they said about Kanye and the Paul McCartney. That first record. That was not my argument. I'm just saying for. for yeah, but then you tell me about music. That music like, for the a, Kanye kids on a fucking for, music. For that was, song, by the way, that was song? also a running joke. Your you, you're fluent no, in sarcasm. That, that was no. That, that was, was no, sarcasm. That, but it really happened. It was for sarcasm. Writing, writing, yes, some and niggas, kids was joking for songwriting yeah. and song structure. Yeah, and kids were joking. They were joking too. They were doing a music theory argument. Yeah, here? like for for, for for song structure and songwriting and song enjoyment. The pre choruses were crazy on my dark, beautiful, twisted fantasy. Fucking four, four five seconds was incredible. It might not what we wanted from Re. It's a great, but beat. it was incredible. Fam, y'all not come on, nigga. Yeah. You're not doing this on Runaway. Like, come on, it's a great beat. Not doing this with Pusha coming in. Come on, get the uh, fuck out of here. This yeah. album is flawless. It's like it's flawless. <laughs> Would nigga, how Pusha rapping with ballerinas matter behind fact, him. Matter of fact, album is not flawless. You know what would be my only argument about this album is that it's flawless. It's too polished. It's too good. That would be my only argument. Oh, they, that's, yeah, what they, that's what they try to yeah, trap yeah, you in that part yeah, of the argument. Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's almost too good. It's, just, it's almost it's crazy how they made this perfect what album. What the fucking no, movie? I, yeah, no, I don't like super polished shit. So yes, what the it's, fucking no, no, movie? No, no, listen. Okay, the movie's great trash. Album. I'm with that movie was trash. That movie was not good. <laughs> First of all, you guys don't fuck with art. Yeah, that Jada Kiss movie. You don't fuck with art. That Jada Kiss movie. Was, that Jada Kiss movie was better than that. You guys don't fuck with art. All right, see, I don't, nigga. You bring this up every time we argue this. This record is amazing. It's incredible. It's that shit. Like this Nigga. This is that shit. Have you ever been fucking faded driving on the fucking 405? I, I Word. invented being Justice, faded you're, you're driving <laughs> on the 405. <laughs> you're you're with way too star. many scenarios for me. No. I thought just like, have you ever been fucking and this came on? But say, I don't know. I don't hear nothing. Nigga. Nah, I, I like that. I like, Nigga. And by listen, the way, this was great. Trash. It's a great album. You don't have. Nigga. <laughs> Let this beat drop. What? Look at Kanye. This the one. Yeah, this one. This the one. This the one that go crazy. He jumped up and got out of his seat. And crazy. he's short, so he jumped out. <laughs> <laughs> this the one that go crazy. He jumped out of his seat <laughs> on on Lost in the World. <laughs> that ain't even the one that jumped out. Bottom beer got him. Yes, it is. Bottom beer. This record is amazing. Bottom beer pulled one of the best albums out in the last decade. He did. He did. That was Put a great it on your album. fucking list, and you probably ain't heard it. You don't fuck with the, the music one this shit. Year? The one this year? No. I was gonna say. No. No. Just because just you, you can't dance music. doesn't take you away from it. Yeah, you All right, so you music. dance to it. Come on. Yeah, I Roy, can't dance either. Bed, Roy. Hey, let me see how you was doing in the house when you was practicing the dance. When I was using the N word? <laughs> <laughs> let this not take away from the fact that Joe's never heard a Bonnevere album. That may be true. He has. The Bonnevere is crazy. No, yeah, I, I played an album, a no, bon, yeah, I have our album with him. Joe, what Bonnevere album you listen to? Malik Yusuf going crazy. Shout to Luke Yosef. I don't see and how that's Kanye Rashid fans. Sunflower shit. I don't see how Kanye fans. I just don't see how y'all call this a flawless album. When in my opinion, is. he does have flawless albums. He does. Yeah. Th this you shit is. Just don't is, think that's is, one of well, them. It's the most you perfect Kanye album flawless. as far as what you like from flawless. Kanye. No, no. I think graduation. It has graduation everything. was the best Kanye album. No, it's me. not. To me, 
No, the presentation. He said to him, "Presentation was <laughs> presentation was better." Yo, I, no, not to you, not to you. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, you don't know what you like. <laughs> but you're not open to new ideas. <laughs> <laughs> not, I'm not, still not, with Justice. No, no, no. Presentation was better. Context was better. Timing was better. And um, all those albums. On um, my dark, dark Pacific, Pacific. Fantasy. Uh, as post as post his mom dying, post Taylor Swift. Okay. Post him leaving Amber. It had all these fucking things that like when you when he spoke. It resonated differently. I still because, like graduation better, man. Huh? I still like graduation. Oh, I'm better, not man. arguing. Like, if you like it better, yeah. I'm just saying, like, nigga. And he put her on. He did not put uh, Stella. No, what's her name? She's Stella a famous, Banks, isn't it? Uh, yeah. The fact that you don't know, let me know. He put her on. That's what I don't is, pay huh? attention to models. That's Selena no, Banks stop. stuff. He did not put her on. He didn't. <laughs> she was a world famous model at this point. She was. really? Nick yes, Cannon put her on. Come on, Nick. Cannon, Nick Cannon is always early. That is Let's true. That was his girlfriend. Let's not argue. He's always early. Okay. So he yeah, not argue, on. but he didn't put her on. Didn't Victoria's Secret put her on? not checking because Nick... Damn, I'm not even going to do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Do that. Don't I'm not going to do that. I love Nick Cannon. He wasn't outside, Joe. If this chorus has flaws, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this chorus has flaws. <laughs> why? Because RZA can't <laughs> pronounce white bitches? <laughs> <laughs> is that why? <laughs> And he gave your man Saha a fucking crazy verse. Saha is spazzling that. I think Kanye is one of the best at creating a song. Yeah. So, so what y'all are saying about like when y'all are dropping these crazy beats that change every half of any bone, you say push it came in, and then you're dropping this with just the right feature. Like, yeah. No, that, that's that kind of adding. That's music, our point. I not, love this album. That's music. By the way. That's music. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not arguing about lyrics. Y'all, so y'all think? Do y'all think this is? So you think this is Kanye's best album? Yeah, no. it's not my favorite, but yeah, it's his no, best. No, it's not his best album. It's his best. What's his best? It's what's Kanye's best album? Yeah. <sighs> he hasn't through created through? it yet. No, 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 no. Kanye, Come Kanye, on, don't go back to that. Kanye's kids love that. Don't, he hasn't created it. No, no, Kanye's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Kanye's quiet. Um, his best album. He's not quiet. Album, not at the t- Sunday church. His best album, I'll probably say his first album. As far as density. I like as far as density, better, density in, better. As far as density in like. I don't know what that means. Density, like, yeah. like, like, how, like, how much it it, it meant I know as far it, as I know what it means. Okay, like how, like, yeah, college dropout definitely for sure because that changed the course of how my life moved. And I can understand and why. That's why I can understand why reasonable doubt is more important to you, you guys. But when I'm talking about music, I didn't say reasonable doubt. I didn't say dark Street fantasy is more important than reasonable doubt. I'm just saying better music. Reasonable doubt is more important to me than my beautiful yes. dark twisted fantasy. But I think my beautiful dark twisted fantasy is a better, better album. Wait, and, and just culturally, period. No, Dark Twisted Fantasy changed the whole way we consume music. How? Nigga, first of all, let's start with Good Fridays. Who else did Good Fridays? Mad people. And why did he invent that? What do you, what do you mean? The whole music industry just decided to change their drops from Tuesday to Friday. No, that... That was not Wait, the same. That's, that's... Oh, my it God. Was it, wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't. Don't it wasn't. Do that it wasn't but I had to, just, I had what to do a Joe doing? thing. I had to do a Joe oh, thing. okay. I had to do a Joe You're thing. You're hot taking. I had to do a Joe You're thing. You're hot taking. All right. That, that's not a Joe thing. You just I sound crazy. To, <laughs> I had to try my hand at Though, by the way, I'm not going to fall into the Kanye kid thing when he does things that mixtape artists had been doing forever and just because he has a higher platform. It was like... I don't like when people give... Other artists credit just because they're more popular. I will say one, things that other people did. One thing that I Kanye mean, dropped a new song every Friday. One thing that Kanye did Crooked do, and particularly, I can name a bunch of rappers that did that for before, longer than before he did. Before Doctor was it? Hell yeah! I think I think Please the most, name five. I think the most Banks, important thing. Crooked that, Eye, Royce. Yeah, there's uh, a million people there. Stack bundles. Has done uh, it. Everyone like, has done damn it. Damn near literally. everyone in New York City. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll give it to y'all because I, I don't. know. I'll say one thing that he did definitely change with this album is producer collaboration. This album in particular, but in general, like producers weren't collaborating at the level that they're collaborating. I mean, Kanye now. changed the fucking the perspective of collaboration in general. I like 808s and Kanye more changed than the that. world if you think about it. He did. When you he really for sure think did. About I it, mean, though. honestly, he for sure did. Would you guys sit down in a dark room and have a twisted fantasy? <laughs> fantasy. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it got to be beautiful. Or a yeah, twisted gotta, room. Nah, it has yeah, to be in beautiful. A dark room. Wait, yeah. wait, y'all, are y'all being sarcastic? And y'all really not acknowledging Kanye for changing the world? I'm, I'm <laughs> acknowledging. We <laughs> speak, <laughs> speak joking. sarcasm. I'm joking. Wait, look, I'm joke, not joke. <laughs> Joe <laughs> has on ripped jeans. Oh, yeah. Post That's Kanye of the West era. I got these from Mall. The- <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? I got my swag from Mall. Where my new Maul, cool swag. Where did Mall get that from? <laughs> oh, that's true. Mm. He got that from Ye. Yeah, I've never seen Hov with the ripped pants. So. Ye changed <laughs> the, the, how we consume music. Granted, I'm not arguing about Ye now because Ye now is a different type up. of nigga. All right, cool. Shut up. 
I think 808s and Heartbreaks is better than I love 808s and Heartbreaks. Me personally, I like it better than Dark Twisted. I would say I would say 808s changed music before my beautiful Dark Twisted fantasy ever did. Without question. For sure. That's a fact. I'll give 808s that credit. But Kanye music, you know what other album? They're on after. That I won't say is is I won't start comparing shit, but at the end of the decade, Watch the Throne needs to be talked about a bit more. Yeah, I agree. And, al- sure. and, and albums that have Another been released album. this I agree. decade. I Another perfect album. It, it, perfect, it aged good. way I better perfect. than I thought it was going to age. I agree. I didn't like it at first. I like it. I, I'm with you, Parks. Yeah. I wasn't the biggest Watch listen, the Throne no, fan. Listen to it now. Some time passed. Listen to that yeah. album today. It, it, it aged, aged, out of the time. It aged amazing. Listen to Absolutely. it. Listen to it today. <clears throat> no while, Church in the Wild. While new Kanye. Oh, clips I love that. On the screen. No Church in the Wild is one of the greatest songs that I think we've ever been. I'm gonna give my friend flowers. After Joe tore that shit apart, I can't hear that song the same. Yeah, yeah he killed that for sure. No, Joe killed that. See, that's the guess. That's guess. Can we get never that? You got get that in your Serato? Watch it. Uh, uh, your no version. Church. Yeah, your version. Yeah. No church in the church. Joe kind of ruined that record for me. <laughs> no cigarettes in oh, the church. Oh, Joe, you was rapping on Kanye beats? No cigarettes in the church. Yeah. No cigarettes in the church. Play your version. Joe is definitely smoking cigarettes in the Joe, church. So. No cigarettes in the church. <laughs> Joe, you rapping on Kanye beats? Huh? He you rapping on Kanye beats? Yeah, he killed that. He influenced you, Joe. He influenced the fuck out of you with your ripped pants. I'm, I'm Kanye's son. <laughs> <laughs> you can't wait. I'm I know Kanye's son. Hey, wait, you know what's funny? Before I even you play this anymore, Maul was there. When we when Watch the Throne drop because we was in the studio, mm-hmm. it was, uh, well, I forgot hey, who else was there, but yeah. me, Parks, and Moore was definitely there. Yeah, and and we put let me let me uh, when we heard the Church in the Wild, I think the whole because the album yeah. the album started like this and everybody stopped with the fuck we was doing right. Oh, this beat is crazy, yeah. but but listen, Moore this Maul can vouch for this. Listen. This is uh, eighty eight keys. Hold up, shout out eighty eight and Mike Dean, Un- underrated, very much so. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. This whole studio was stopped already. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! This Ugly first, faces I think in the studio. This is the first time we heard Jay on that type of. Yeah, yeah. 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 This was uh, on that sense of urgency. That shit was like, what yeah. the fuck is this? No, this. Is... Oh my God! I'm about to tell you, just hold up. I'm out here, boy. And that's when I looked at Maul. Yeah. Right after that <laughs> line. Balling, right at, that was the line. I'm out here balling. I know y'all hear my... I said, nah. Let's go. Nah. nah let's go. So it wasn't Kanye. I don't even think I got the Kanye part yet, even though I think you could. there's an argument to be made about who had the better verse here. But nah, I didn't I let think it... I think he made the beat. Ye smoked this. They yeah, both smoked. Yeah, they both yeah, did get off on this. Yeah, he went crazy. They both the, really the went crazy. The second half here. of the album, Jay really got in his bag. Yeah. Watch the so, throwing ball out the best of both of them. The Joy is my favorite song in that album. Yeah, they they they, they, they don't even best it's of like a bonus. Both. I know, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Are y'all happy that collab albums kind of died? Yes. Uh, no. I, I was never a big no rapper it's collab. Still something album that we guy. need though. No, I, I understand what Joe's saying. It became trendy. Yeah, because it fucked up. And yeah. again, post this is all yeah he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> You ain't peeping. I mean, I was gonna give Ray J credit I'm, for it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna reiterate, but we've <laughs> yeah. never, and we've never, we've never had, we've we should never give had Ray J credit superstars for collaborate on songs until Ye with Swagger Like Us. <laughs> what? <laughs> Have you ever heard Self Destruction <laughs> or sim- or Symphony <laughs> or We Are the World? Uh, Joe, you ain't never, <laughs> you never heard Self Destruction. <laughs> what the hell is this young <laughs> nigga talking? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> by the way, did you say We Are the World? There's only some. I'm talking, I'm talking about. I've been riding with Justice, but there's some things I'm gonna hang out over here. That's the I'm, biggest I'm hangout over here. I'm, ta- there. I'm, talking about, I'm, talking, I'm talking about a rap. All right, all right, all right. Where did they find her? All right, hold on, no, 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 no. I thought she stopped on, making music. Hold on, hold on, everyone relax. I'm talking about a rap. I'm talking about a rap music. Okay, at, that, music. at that time, we're all, post- we're all in the same gang. <laughs> State property? Have you never heard of it? State property? State property was not a bunch of superstars collabing. It was not a bunch of superstars collabing. I love Petey Crack. I, I think he's a star. I love these Kanye kids. I think Petey's a superstar. Him. Come on. Come on. Yo, Yo, you think Chris and Neef was taking it there? No, don't do that. No, he wasn't. Oh, y'all fucking not. Nah, it didn't, it didn't reach you. Yo, y'all. It didn't reach you. Yeah, 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 yeah. did not start it that. Did. But it had it had been quite some time. Look at Scream Man. Who was this? Who is Lionel Richie? I don't even know the fuck that is. Exactly, no, 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 guys, guys, guys. You guys. Guys. <laughs> and fucking Stevie and Lionel order. next to each other. I don't even know those guys. And fucking pop, and fucking pop. Wait, music. look at Stevie. I just drilled Lionel. And pop music, and pop music, yes. And, and, and pop can, music, and niggas can see was, him. And pop music, niggas was collaborating. 
But as far as when it came to rap we music, we just made mad rap songs. <laughs> Ooh, you just gave me state property. I think no, I think <laughs> best of both worlds was the credit for that. Nigga, that's an R and B artist and a rap artist. I'm talking rap. You world. said collab though. I said in rap. I said in rap. Shit, this Again. is this is a rapper and an R and B artist. Who? <laughs> Watch the throne. <laughs> Who's R and B? Don't Kanye. Do don't do that. <laughs> All of the lights. Oh, now you out. Fake news alert. Fake news alert. <laughs> Fake news. Hold on. Hey. Don't a. <laughs> okay, I don't agree with Justice, but it had been quite some time then that Why mega stars, Jay, Kanye, Ti, and Lil Wayne were all mega stars in the rap world. The hottest rappers. So in that the world. that's a that's a four collab at that moment. What was that? Two thousand eight. Hottest rappers in the world. That hadn't been done in quite some time. He did not invent it, but it was a moment for sure. And after that, it felt like I'll everyone started. Everyone started collabing on a more rap superstar level than they had in the past. It was a trend. Is that fair, Parks? No. Okay, <laughs> then what was prior to 2008? There's mad posse cuts that are classic posse cuts in the history of fucking hip-hop. Like, what? I didn't say posse cuts. I said superstar cuts. I didn't yeah, say posse cuts. He's not talking about posse cuts. No, this is... I, I get what Justice is trying to say. To I didn't say posse cuts. Self-dist- How about Symphony? You ever heard that song? Well, who's that by? <laughs> I'm, tell me. Juice Crew. But... Yeah. Good only Good I know, I know. I, I said I'm not on his side. I, I'm, I'm aware of no, 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 his no, no, biggest no, no. rappers at that time. No, 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 no. no. But they were not tell superstars. Me, tell me, is what I, I, understand, I understand. Justice what they're is saying. not He's saying his point correctly. Those are the two superstars that in the, the modern era of, of rap were not making <laughs> music together in that type of capacity. Thank you. You're not full. They weren't. Kanye's the did Reservoir Dogs exist? Of course it did. But Kanye is the only person on record on Wax that did anything. Has said, <laughs> no, no. On on wax, he, and, he said that he was going to bring the culture together at the highest level, make niggas stop dressing fucking crazy, and then on top of it, he was. I give only, that credit to Jay. Niggas wore button ups and fucking jeans. Niggas was wearing jeans and button ups because of Jay. I, what you think niggas Jay threw got their jerseys away. What do you think Jay got it from? <laughs> Puff, had a, Puff had a whole clothing line with pretty cool stuff that people were wearing. You talking about Sean John? Yeah, I love Sean John. It's, it's amazing, but no. Yeah, Sean John actually made that uh, in 98, which you're wearing. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. It just says Sean guy, John on it. This guy is awesome. <laughs> it just says Sean John. This guy is great. I'm, uh, all right. You guys, you guys cannot right. sit I here love, and say. I love Sean John. <laughs> yeah. I love Sean John, John, but when we're talking about in the essence of fashion, yeah. when Kanye, Kanye, West, Kanye West was, was at his fucking peak from 2006. Yo, you even call him his whole name still. Like, you don't think that's weird? From, from 2006 up until about maybe 2000. And, 14 when he started to decline but Kanye changed the course of fashion you, you three can't sit here and say, and say that Kanye there. did not change I was there you can't no, say no, no, I, I was I there agree with Kanye, I was there Walt when Disney. it was post life oh. uh, Elon Musk Steve Elon Musk Elon, Elon Musk, Musk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on come I was on. there when it was post life dip set wait what is Drake doing right post life I mean no we're talking about music Drake Drake no I'm talking about right there no he's laughing at that Sean John yeah 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 no no listen Sean John classic Rockefeller classic should have went triple classic it went trip. I mean, only, eventually I'm, it went trip. I'm only saying, I'm only saying, cha- changing the course of influence. Kanye definitely got niggas to start dressing. No, Kanye sensible. and Summer did everything. <laughs> Justice, that's why you can't seriously argue on this podcast. It took it took me about really two years to get where you. Oh, you never really, heard really, self destruction. <laughs> <laughs> when niggas told me, when niggas told me state property, I'm like, I'm out. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> You gotta let PD, you know what I'm get his shit off. I'm out. <laughs> Have we talked about Saturday Night Live at all? <laughs> we did. You were in the bathroom. We did. PD cracked. Oh, and did great at Do Say Palooza. That's how we. That's, that's how, how we much felt time y'all, y'all gave Eddie Murphy for time. No, no, no. no that's, that's how we, we got felt here. felt because they said Dave was was a. Uh, oh yeah, no. that's what sparked this whole guy. They, they said that Eddie no, was we more. No, we got out and watched the throne. Dave was more my beautiful dark twisted fantasy. That's how that. That's how this started. They said Eddie was more reasonable doubt. You know. They said that. Yeah. Oh, we could have exited the conversation. Well, we, we did. We, we started going into some. No, no, we know, talk, but we let's talk, really we talk, about talk about Eddie now. Oh yeah, let's, we can talk. I'll about get him. you up to speed. Uh, my hot take was I, <laughs> an hour later. Yeah. <laughs> Who else? Just, just like a cutie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all the cuties. We was chilling. <laughs> no, don't try to get us to be cuties with you. <laughs> it's only cutie, you. P- cutie patooties. Oh, 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 oh thanks, Ma. <laughs> oh, oh, thanks. Felt cute. <laughs> my, my delete the pod later. <laughs> Catch me up. Uh, no, my hot take was uh, I would have preferred a real Eddie Murphy monologue. I really appreciated the moment with Chris Rock, Tracy Morgan, Dave Chappelle, Keenan. I thought that was great, but 70% of it was them just coming together. I would like a whole Eddie Murphy monologue. Well, you're going to get that on in his stand-up that's coming. 
Great. Why Keenan snuck in the picture? Because Keenan's been you at mean, SNL for fucking ever. Yeah. He's been holding it down. He <laughs> yeah, deserves to do be that, there. bro. But you can wait over there. No, let us, let us take this picture. No, put Keenan in there. Even, and I've, 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 listen. No, they took the picture before. Keenan's under they, 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 yeah, they, they strategically did it. <laughs> yeah, they got they got theirs first. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And brought him out later. Look at Dave. Keenan's got underrated. Man. Why you do that, bro? Shit, listen. I'm about to say the same thing about Tracy that. Morgan. No, no, I don't fuck with that. You can't do that, bro. Tell me more. Because, bro. Because. <laughs> I feel him. <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. No, I feel him. I see, I see where you're taking no, the culture. No, my, I see you taking the Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. No, that's it. true. Let me get into it. Let me get. Let me get into it. Let me get into it because Joe, my nigga, listen. From a nigga that again loves music and rap music. I don't and, love rap music. And, no, no, I'm not, I'm yes, not saying yes, you. I'm not yes, saying you. you. I'm up. saying me. Oh, okay. From being a fan of watching, you ain't got one rapper signed. Oh, that's yeah. not true. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, 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 and Boogie raps. Very I have Boogie, well. I have Boogie, <laughs> but like you know, like you know, rap. Boog, what up? But you know, Boog has one of the better albums of the year. By the it way, it is does, a great album yeah. for sure. Yeah. But again, that's actually even bringing it back to my same point. It's like for me, Kanye. Oh. For me, my <laughs> thing, my thing about what what we stand for and my company stands for is like, is doing exactly what Joe's plight was. It's like the niggas that are actually making great. Because I followed music. Right. Joe made great music. And I'm not even because I'm on this podcast. If, you know what I'm saying? Like I tell him, I tell him if he makes a song, it's trash, trash. Cool, right. cool. It's good. But like, it's no. So like, of Dark Souls fantasy. Joe, good. lyrically, I connected to a lot of the movie music shit. No doubt. Facts. If that shit was mixed, I'm telling you, man. I'm a, I'm an <laughs> even. But, but again, but again, By but the way. again, 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 because you are pushing the agenda that niggas weren't used to. Don't never tell me I'm out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, if you would have got a mix, you was out of here. No, Don't no, tell no. me I'm out of here. Go you, ahead, Because you were pushing an agenda that niggas weren't used yeah. to. And niggas that are in a mode be like, nigga, why are you talking about your feelings? Nigga, you're rapping. Yeah. Stop it. Cool. All right. So my issue with how Joe fucking presents shit like why is Keening in the picture? It's because it sounds haterish. No, it's like, bro, in a moment to where, let's say, in your in your in your years in two thousand and seven, when you were fucking making your best music, right? And it was you, Jay, fucking Drake, Wayne, and you happen to sneak in the picture. I would tell somebody to get me out there. No, picture. no, I wouldn't. I because, would. No, I wouldn't because what I would say is that. Skillfully, he deserves to be in that picture, and he needs that fucking light. Those pictures, he needs those, that light because those you know what? Are never about skills, no, no, though. No, no, no. You, you, know, you know what? Because it takes niggas that have that light of Eddie, who's made it so mainstream, to be able to give niggas that have fucking um, influenced them. I agree with what you're saying. So that's, I just hate it when you do that. I'm like, nigga, like, come on, like, let no, nah, let, let Keenan, Keenan has been holding it down, and they they were making the. Amazing black comic moment, and Keenan has been holding it the fuck down at SNL, which is the white university of everything. For, for and Keenan been years. there forever, being one of the funnier people with everyone they bring in and out. So yeah, I get but what Justin's saying. Yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying is get Tracy out of there. A lot of you. Chill, nah, nah, Tracy, no, nah. you got Tracy Morgan. Hell, fucked nah, you up. got Tracy Morgan very fucked. <laughs> Yo, why y'all? Y'all like, fuck with Tracy Morgan? No, no, no. I was, I, uh, it was just a joke. Okay, <laughs> I don't really word. Yeah. Okay, now he's but not that funny. Chappelle, though. Eddie, nah, and Rock. He's funny. No, he's not. He's funny. No, he's God, not. Eddie, funny. Eddie, Chappelle, and Chris Rock. Listen to 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 the point that Rory just made. Uh, yeah, I know that. What's his homeboy's name? Keenan. Keenan Thompson. See, look, and, and he dead 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 at his nigga. Where's his nigga at? Kel, he's still on Kel, SNL, bro. Kel, oh, all right, good, good, good. No, yeah. Kel is not on SNL. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not. <laughs> Kel is not. I want to make that clear. <laughs> I thought he might have been like Ghost Rider. Kel or ever been on SNL? Kel, oh shit, I don't See, know. See why this picture? <laughs> why this picture was important? Like to me is uh, where the contributions that some of them, <laughs> some of them <laughs> have <laughs> delivered. <laughs> To black people, like the way that black people view Chris Rock, and I hate that as I age, I'm turning into this guy that only man, it only matters if you did it to black people. What? Hey, screen, put the fucking picture back. What are you doing? Uh, Chris Rock, Eddie Murphy, and Dave Chappelle. We don't need to say another word. Once you start getting to Tracy Morgan and Homeboy right here, Keenan, Keenan. you just have to add some more context now. Yeah, I, that's agree, all. I agree with I you. I agree. That's all. I agree. Because you're looking at Probably the three best. Yeah, you might as well. Richard Pryor. Average you have Richard. Average there. you have Richard like, there. Yeah, I mean Kevin Hart. You can put Kevin Hart up there. No, you can't. Wait, uh, Kevin, you could, but he should not be there. Why not? You, you. Why not? Not my preference, but you can. Why not? Can. Why not? We're not gonna do that about Kevin. But we're not gonna do that about Kevin. I don't give a fuck if you think he's as funny as these niggas or not. When it comes to black excellence, you're not gonna not put Kevin of, Hart up there. 
You would have to put Kevin Hart. Have to. He's done things in comedy. He's done in stand up comedy. He's done come things, things come combined. Man. Come on. All these shows. Relax, 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 relax. Relax, relax. I know how accomplished he is. Don't start saying stupid shit like he's done things that these niggas haven't done combined because it's going to make me think that you just nuts. Uh, Even if it's well, true, it's, it's not, not true. Yeah, that is not true. Well, I mean, Kevin I mean, has done some amazing things. Yes, but not with, not them combined. With, with no, no, stand, no obviously, stand, obviously, <laughs> to be no, facetious, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, the yeah. type of intellect well, perform- they have in their stand up, I'll argue all day that <laughs> if we're talking about their material no, no, specifically, no, 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 no. Kev should not be in that photo. Kevin Hart should not be there. And what they're trying to get across here, yes, Kevin can be in that picture. We're talking about black excellence. The same reason why you said Keenan can be there is the same reason why I say Kevin can be. Kevin is black excellence. Yes, he's as excellent as as he gets. Not in comedy. Why not? Because of them three. What do you mean? He still had a fucking stand-up that changed the fucking world. I don't give a fuck. What stand-up I'll, did he have that changed the world? What was it? Was Seriously it, was, funny. What, 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 the was one the, that what was the one? Was, I don't know. I'm asking. Was, 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 it, was it laugh on my pain or seriously? Oh, you have got... I'm not, I'm not having this conversation. What was it? I'm not doing it. None of them ever had any of the impact that nah, any ser- of theirs had. What? Seriously Chill. funny. Chill, seriously Chill, funny, bro. the one that made him pop Yo, can, was a can, good stand-up. Kevin has sold... He sold out... Like, everything, like stadiums, football stadiums, everything. No, 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 no. Com- stand up. Stand stand up. He's one of the most like, successful comedians. Yeah, like that. That alone, he, he deserves people. Yeah. Yeah, he deserves to be up Facts. there on that alone. Now, if you're talking just strictly material, then no, that's man. a different what, talk. What they, yeah, but if we're talking about saying, saying. Joe, black if it's comedians, laugh on my pain, laugh on my pain, laugh on my pain. Laugh on my pain. If it's material, just Eddie, just Eddie, Dave, and Chris. Yo, twenty-seven year olds don't know what changed anything. You don't know about anything that existed before that time. No, stupid. We know, no, 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 stupid. no, no, we know about what changed shit because we're living in it and we see some shit change. I'm not saying Kevin, it changed your Kevin Hart, should, your Kevin Hart definitely decade. can stand in that picture. Nigga, but wait, change. y'all getting me to argue about, about black people that we love when I had a way much better argument for us. Uh, why y'all letting Adam Sandler sneak back out? Damn. That movie's fire, though. All right. See? I haven't See? seen the movie. Sure. Yo, All Justin, I know is- thanks for coming back. <laughs> yo, yo, man, you, you got a it? fight to catch. I'm sure you got to get out of here, but... Huh? Did you see it? I didn't see it. <laughs> nice. See, oh. I heard it was good. He's, he's, he's fire. Fire. fucking he's Adam, Adam Sandler. Sandler. No, no. I, fuck, I fuck with Adam Nick Sandler. Adam Sandler was Nick God, he had a moment, man. Fire. I fuck with Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler. I, like Adam Sandler. I feel you because Adam Sandler is not what you want to like depict to like be the well, best. Well, it depends. It depends. As acting, like he went like, rom com, man. But Adam Sandler at one nigga, point in time was funny. That shit is Adam fire. Sandler is funny. Yeah, I don't. She's fire. And I don't think this is a comedy. No, it's not. Shit. And then Adam Sandler and Kevin Hart are very similar in the capacity of you're really successful and make some cool, funny shit. It doesn't have much substance, but it's funny. Look at this nigga. Adam no, I heard Sandler this is, is like a really good movie, though. Also, and that's the reason why I champion Kevin Hart. Because he's safe? No, because, uh. you know what, like... Because Adam Sandler is safe. In the arguments of fucking who's better than who's not, cool. Like, I, I, I deem Kevin Hart as black excellence. But I'm also, like, when it comes to... You're going to argue Kevin Hart material is not the best, whatever, whatever, cool. I'm for black mediocrity. Why do we got to be excellent in some shit all the fucking time? Because that's who we are. That shit's bullshit. We can't. We kings. Man. No we queens. Nigga, we fuck out of here. Come from I want to put some I shit out, and that shit sells out stadiums. Rock. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you want to be excellent too, though. Yeah. Yeah. But why does it have to be bound to just meet, um excellence? Uh, I if think black people don't make anything <clears throat> excellent. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he shouldn't be in that picture. Fuck out of well, here. Well, you're standing next no, to I excellence. Just... No. What do you mean? You can't stand next to Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock. And Only Tracy in Morgan. black standards. Yeah. The same way. Yeah. I understand why Puff didn't put me in the Kanye Puff Jay Z Pharrell picture. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's the same shit here. Yeah, it, same shit. it shouldn't be a yeah. knock to anybody. To it's not say, a knock. Right. Like, Yo, you, no, no, no. Just, you haven't right. accomplished that. What yet. I think Justice is trying to say equality, white people can just be average and it's fi- It's like, okay. Like, there's no equality within black and white people because white people can be mediocre and it's not. A weird thing. And just go to the woods, and we just yes, all about it. exactly. No, no, no. I, you're making a joke, but you're right. White people can be very mediocre, and it just be whatever. Black people have to be the greatest shit ever all to be time. acknowledged. Yeah. yeah. So that's justice just is right. There's like black yeah. people can't just and that's be, just crazy. Be themselves. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm making a. I, no, I think no, I'm, making a, making, no, a making, no, you're you're making a point. No, you're making a point. You're making a point. You're making a point. Now this is a facts basket, right? You're making a point because in that in that same. In that same breath, right? The Kanye kids have been feeling bre- each other for like an hour now. <laughs> in that same breath, like, you know, like, you have Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle, 
and fucking um, who else was in the picture? Look, Chris Rock. Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, who right? all gonna be there? And Keenan. Don't don't shit Chris on Rock, like that. Chris Rock. Right. <laughs> the only reason why you don't want to put Keenan there is because no, he's not you. as accredited. As no, that, no, that's not. That's three. not true. It's not true. That's For not him being in that picture is a stat. That's a stat. Okay. So Yo, and he knows that. He, he basically that. said it. Yeah, that's a stat. So, the same, so the same reason why I said Kevin should be in that crib. picture. Kevin's in the picture. Uh, he said no. They're at his no, crib. Kevin should de- should uh, or be or Eddie picture. Murphy's crib. What? Depending on how you view the crib. Well, it's Lauren Tra- Tra- Michaels. Or Tracy Morgan. Or Chris Rocks. But I'm saying now. Chris Rocks crib. He's holding it down the way they did for so many years after. He is. He is because no, SNL is the the whitest he's, bullshit on earth. He's like white Nick. <laughs> it's Cannon. not even that funny. <laughs> SNL kind of sucks. It does suck. <laughs> SNL sucks. He's white Nick Cannon. He is. Who oh, Keenan? Yeah. <laughs> Keenan. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, no, we not doing it. Yeah. We can't do that to Keenan. We can't do that to Keenan. I fuck with Keenan. He's like you. I fuck with Keenan. No, that's Keenan Cannon. Come on. Keenan Cannon. We can't do that to Keenan, man. That's Keenan. We fuck with. It's niggas like you, bro. Why niggas will never overcome. <laughs> niggas will never overcome because, because of, Joe. of Joe Budden. Bro. I do want that to be my legacy. <laughs> you niggas can't overcome Y'all as can't long overcome. as I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there won't be no overcoming. Yeah. You this all are crazy. underachievers as long as I'm on this yeah. planet. You know Rory's speech? You come back with this? <laughs> Yo. Rory gave wild no. gems. No, yeah. first of all. Yeah. All right. No, 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 no. I can't appreciate that. Yeah. I take I everything I say back because Joe is mad mediocre. You got, you got to start any of your gems with nigga. It'll just change the face Yo, of the I just want to say all of this changed once we started playing Joe's version of No Cigarettes in the Wild. <laughs> we didn't play it. Oh, we didn't play it? We, <laughs> didn't, we should have played it. There. You should have played it. We, we didn't we, play it. We wouldn't have got here. Look, Joey. man, look, Rory Press play it and come on Joey. Now yeah. it's sound like I'm on my knob. <laughs> Talk my shit again. Yeah, Justice, you missed this, but I, I tore this up. What happened? No, nah, Joe killed the shit. I don't shit. need to miss it. I know you're a great rapper. Wayne is on a plane getting searched. Nothing. I now. know you're a great rapper. <laughs> but the same reason why niggas would be like, oh, what do you know, Joe, for pump it up? It's the yeah, same no. shit you're doing to Keenan, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. No, nah, get in your bag. I have heard this. I have heard Yo, they go to sauna again, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> sauna. Couldn't wait to tell us. <laughs> That's a gem right Anytime there. Anytime I showed the rap. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's because of y'all. Show your yeah, it's because of y'all that I find one of those in every one of my songs. <laughs> the Say rap. My fault. What the fuck? The rap. The rap is crazy. Yo. Yo. I had yo. rap. Yo, when, yo, yo, when you showed him the rap? <laughs> when I was begging to be understood. Oh. By the way, no, 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 chill. I know the new album. Used to show him the wrath, now I show him the wraith. Mm. Talk about it. I don't have a wraith. I mean, talk about it. I you didn't t- have any wrath. Sam, either. I saw it in your driveway when I went to your crib the other day. That wasn't my house. <laughs> that was down the street. <laughs> it was at the wrong house? <laughs> oh, right. I ain't been to my house yet. Not the new one. Congrats on the. On, oh, yeah. Uh, the oh, thank you, man. You all moved in? Around, around no, I was talking about the, the old crib last week. Let me tell you something. <laughs> all them cars over there is kind of. Like, I'm, I'm probably the only one without a car. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy because you're close to the city. Nice cars over there. I bet. It was a Lotus just parked crooked the other day. They still make Lotuses? Yeah. Well, they might Lo- have been old. I don't, I don't know if they still make them. Uh, shit. Damn, I can't believe y'all let Adam Sandler sneak out with Kevin Garnett like Justin and uh, Meek. You're going to like the movie. That's the funny shit. I'm never watching that movie. Why? Mm-hmm. Same I heard, same I heard, I heard it's good. I heard it's really good. Yeah. I'm not watching that now. You will. But why though? Just tell me why I'm you're not, not watching. I'm not watching anything with Adam Sandler. Why? What's your beef with yeah. Adam Sandler? Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's that hater mentality shit, bro. Adam I'm Sandler's not watching funny. something. It's in a no, no, okay. okay. entertainment. No, with him okay. specifically. Okay. With him. Like you say you're not watching anything with Adam Sandler. Why? Because that's hater mentality. I have not. I've never enjoyed him. Really? But he's good yes. in this movie. Adam Sandler has some good movies. Have you seen uh, what's what's the Netflix one he did about being the agent in Hollywood? It was recent. I'm talking I'm, about I'm new sure Adam Sandler. I have it. It was good. I'm sure I haven't. I am. Adam Sandler. Sandler he's a good, he's a good I understand actor. your reservations against Adam Sandler. But this is a good film. How did you think this He had a name like out? Sandy Koufax. I, I mean, just forgot Joe, the we're name. We're in the industry. We see shit before it comes out. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. 
I'm going to definitely check it out, though. Oh, now I see. Maul and Justice went to L.A., saw the secret screening of whatever this <laughs> shit is. What? And I like, what's that dude's name? I keep forgetting. Secret you like screening. The dude, the dude you like right there. Yeah. The, uh, um, the dude from ATL. From, um, no, I mean, not ATL. It's right there. What's that? What's Atl- the, Atlanta. It's same thing. Atlanta, yeah. Damn, fuck. Lakeith Stan. Darius. Lakeith, I don't know. Lakeith, his Lakeith name, is man. fire. Lakeith, I like him. I like him. I like him a lot. Right, He's well, fire. Can he rap? No. Yeah. Okay. Just wanna, I think he does rap, right? Yeah, he does. I just want to see if Justice thought he could rap. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm check this movie. Yeah, how you gonna switch on me like that, bro? <laughs> just curious. You think he can rap? Nah, but you switch. You switched on me on, on, on wax. I've been riding with you for, on wax. For, you switched on me though. quite some time. But you try to you try Justice, to create that separation you right there. Me, you called me. You tried to create that separation. You called me right a cutie. I'm, I'm rocking with you. <laughs> you got to rock with him now. <laughs> I'm gonna listen, check this movie. Out. Listen, Rory, we gotta just like just debunk this this Joe madness. I've given up. JPB boys. <laughs> Oh, collab shit! What a, what a time to be alive too. They're shooting videos. They're putting out snippets. Uh, it, oh, is is that, is that is that what they're doing? What do you think they was thought they was doing this for fun? I mean, I thought it was future about to put an album. I didn't know. No, was, he's, he's, I didn't know it was a collab album. Yeah, him and Drake back yeah. at it. Yep, mm. I like it. Watch the throne. I mean, I watch the throne. What is it? What a time to be alive too. Chris Brown keeps teasing new music, and I'm waiting for it. I don't care if every album is fifty songs on it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Damn man, I'm mad that December just came and went. And really, no new music. We really ain't get shit. Man. Yeah, she has been fucking wild. down here. Yeah, I, th- I think anyway. Uh is We've there had any- some moments though. We've had some moments this year that were pretty good musically. Entertainment. Yeah, for entertainment sure. music. Is there anything? I, I think yo, the fact that today is Christmas and we decided to yell about music to people <laughs> <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> Like we us. really get into we this really podcast. are in reasonable doubt. It was Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're screaming yeah. Kanye and Jay Z at each other. <laughs> yeah. Somebody right now is traveling to their parents' house in a car with their new wife. And they're just like, let's let's this. throw in the pod. Yeah. <laughs> continue continue this. And they're just gonna hear us screaming. Who's more important in music? Jay or Kanye. Alright. I'm not doing this with what? <laughs> what, what? Is, this, is this, it obvious? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it is. I just want to prove a point. Oh wait, you think Kanye is more important to music? I think. Oh wow! Can I give you guys my top ten rap albums? Yeah, Just, Justice. Thanks for stopping by, man. Yo, yo it's always man. a pleasure seeing yeah. you, bro. Real good to see you. Looking good, man. No, I, I, I want a cutie right, right now. It's in 2019, sound wise, Kanye is more important. But that's a whole nother argument. It's not a whole nother argument, Rory. We're talking about from the span of music. But but Jay's first album ninety six. But Jay Jay Jay's comes from Kanye. Jay's first album ninety six. Kanye's first album was two thousand five. Well, can y'all talk about that on a different podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a, a topic I was bringing to Let, let's hear. argue my list. Oh, you got a <laughs> list? The list I put, boys I put together a top ten rap albums of the decade for our Ooh. last episodes. <laughs> Coming in number ten. <laughs> This is D- gonna be fun. Dirty Sprite Two. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> That's number ten. It's number ten. Dirty Sprite Two. Okay. Yeah. Had a, he has two, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I see where this. So he he's gonna two. have. <laughs> so wait, he's gonna have. So uh, Dirty Sprite One, I think, is better than Dirty Sprite Two, though. It is. <laughs> so you would have to have him up there twice on the top ten of the decade. I hate no. Sprite. Okay. <laughs> and, and dirt. I'm not, I'm and not, dirt. I, guys, I'm not even a future fan. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is just something that you made up. Okay, it's Rory's list. Okay. I'm sorry. We were Rory's it's list. Not my personal, no, this is not my personal top 10. Oh, okay. It's what you think about... This is the top 10 rap albums of the decade, according that to shape. me. Not my favorite. Yeah, that whole, that that, that whole okay. bullshit that they add to it. Okay. Number shape. nine, 444. What? Okay. Look, here go Justice. Justice. Look, look, look. What? <laughs> Justice like, yo, ain't nobody even outside at 444. <laughs> Justice wait, 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 will not wait, be wait, at the wait. Rock Nation. Bro. Are you serious? Yes. Kanye, Let's just hear the rest of the list. Kanye, the Kanye right. boys are fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Number eight, damn. Okay. Number seven, Teflon Dawn. Okay. Number six, To Pippa <sighs> Butterfly. Number five, Take Care. Number four, My Crazy Life. Number three, Nothing Was the Same. Number two, Good Kid, Mad City. Number one, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. That, album's, that list is trash. That list is one of the worst lists I've ever <laughs> Garbage. I gotta be. Trying Complex to, I'm on your side. Yeah. God damn it. Trying to, trying to create uh, some content mm. since we have to do two episodes in one day, guys. Mm. <laughs> trying well, to make that, something that, that we can argue. Well, that, that list ain't it. All right, come on. God damn it, Rory. You guys weren't brave enough to make one. <laughs> uh, brave enough. Brave. Any, t- any, I hate any, any top ten uh, 
album of the decade list. I'm not doing it. These were rap albums, by the way. Without Jacquees, it's not good. Got you. All right, so what what was uh, not on there then? We'll start there. What was not on there? Um, good kid, Man City. It was number two. Oh. <laughs> Take care. It was number five. Forest Hills Drive. Uh, that was one that that mm. should that mm. that definitely belongs on that list. Listen, I there's a, there's the only Freddy reason Gibbs, I put Dirty Watch Freddy the there. there's a Freddie Gibbs album Watch that should throne. be on there. Watch the Throne. Aww. Okay, what is it replacing? DS2. You can get that yeah. dirty. The you only get, reason you can get dirty sprite too. The fuck out of here. Here's the reason why I have dirty sprite two on there. Because you like it dirt was and sprite. No, I don't like either. I don't drink soda and I don't really fuck with dirt like that. Mm-hmm. I come from the mud, but I don't fuck with dirt like that. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Just gave it to. That. I had to put something trap on there because it was a very trap decade. No, you didn't. You didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. But okay. Yeah, you did. You got to put. You got to put yeah, something that influenced that, that whole trap era of the decade. Do you still what what album trap? Come on, okay. Parks. Tra- trap was one of the biggest genres. Absolutely. Of, so you have to put you something still listen that influenced. To Dirty Sprite too? Parks. I maybe not. I, maybe I don't listen to any albums on here. You it was not my to favorite. Four forty four. I know you still listen to four forty four. On the way here. <laughs> <laughs> this was not my favorite. I don't this know. Was, if Dirty you have Sprite to put. You still listen to Take Care too? Of course I do. Yeah. No, I'm saying I could not listen to any of these. <laughs> Wait, what? What I say? What happened? <laughs> Yeah, you still listen to Take Care too. Of course I do. <laughs> you what say yeah, I do. You say yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm so do I. I love Take Care. Why are you saying it like that though. You saying it like it was a knock. No, I'm saying like what After Park. There's a few albums on there that I could see I'm still listening to. No, no, no. My my point was I could not listen to any of these. My point was that these were the best albums of the decade when you put the whole influence and impact and all that bullshit. Not my favorite. Justice, what did you get your girl for Christmas? Why? There's going to be some wealthy why, shit right here. Why are we doing this? I just feel like we should discuss Christmas at least. Oh, no. Let's no, let's <laughs> let's talk about that. Give let's talk cash. about that. Give him some cash, bro. I want to be on record. Some cash? That's, that's a great. That's, that's solid. That's, that's great. That's smart. That's smart. Damn, I wonder if I can just give my girl some cash. Yo. No, that's Yo. the move. That's, that's what I, I, my mom got yeah, cash. My dad's getting cash. My, both oh, my, my whole family's getting both cash. Both my son's getting cash. I don't know if you can get your girl cash. You can get your girl cash? Yes. What you mean? Yeah, cash is the most fucking best shit ever. It is. I don't think so. I don't give a fuck what kind of fucking drip you give me. You give me cash, I love you more. <laughs> yeah, let me go get my own drip. Just gonna cash at my girl for her birthday for Christmas? No, it has no, to you be gotta, tangible. No, you got to put it. Oh, cash, cash, yeah, cash, yeah, cash. It changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't do the cash nah, at the yeah, rest yeah, of the yeah. year. You, you got to like give the stack oh, of hundreds. Okay. You can't just transfer? Yeah. Man, stack of hundreds. Whoa. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. Jesus, money. <laughs> Joe, you're only saying that because you only have ones from where you get your actual money from. Yo, I don't carry cash. I look at niggas like peasants when they start asking me for Joe, cash and Joe, tips. I'm not going to let you lie on here. You walk into this podcast fuck. every day with racks of ones in your backpack. <laughs> it's just left over All you do is carry cash. No, nah, that's not cash to Joe, though. That's not cash. That's fun coupons. <laughs> Yo, that's amazing. Titty coupons. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Oh man, I'm gonna get rid of some fun coupons. Tonight. Yeah, that's a little fun coupon tonight. Yeah. Okay, Joe, I'm glad you save something tonight. <laughs> coupons getting handed out. I'm glad you brought up Christmas. I just want to be on the record to say all of you women are fucking crazy. Well, that's what this podcast is about. Rick. They didn't know that. Hey, come on. This is like, <laughs> we this, need a little more context. This is, <laughs> Joe, no toxic podcast. Joe, Joe is aware. I called Joe in the middle of this debacle. Oh mm. yeah, I do remember. You wound up in a debacle. Oh, boy, yeah. was I in a debacle. Yeah, this is funny, actually. So, my girl, you know, you know how women throw hints out. By hints, I mean say things directly in a very negative way that make you feel like shit. Yeah. Um, that she maybe wanted a designer bag for, for Christmas. <sighs> Parks, I know nothing about anything designer women. Me either. At all. I've never bought a designer bag. Me either. Why don't you call I, me? I've never. Oh, well, I'm going to get to that. <laughs> I'm going to get to that. So... All I do is hear chicks rap about Chanel. It's right. like the number one thing. So I said, all right, well, I'm in Soho. I'll start at the Chanel store. Yeah. Just because I know that's a, a popular name. That's and when you don't know shit. Bag, though. Chanel was a popular bag, and it still is. Mm. That's a coveted bag. That's starting at six racks. I walk into the Chanel store thinking, you know, we, we had an eye year. Not too great. I'm not, I don't got it like that. Shut yeah, up, man. Barclay. Shut up. I got, I got, I got three on it. I'm cool. I got three on a bag. Mm-hmm. I've a never bought a bag. Yeah. I'm thinking three on a bag. Gets it done. Get, get something solid. <laughs> no, no. I think I'm getting her like a duffel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, you're doing a damn thing. You're getting a wallet. <laughs> you're doing a damn thing. Fam, I walked in there and Change they said, purse. no, we got, for 5K, we have the wallet that goes in the 
a fifteen thousand dollar purse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Sorry. You went you walked in. I car? ran out of that store <laughs> so mad, not at my girl, at women in general that for God knows how long they have just been casually throwing out this word Chanel bag. Nah, stop it. Our entire existence. Stop it. This is nuts. You can't casually say, yo, you gotta give me a Chanel to talk to me. You can't. That's fucking nuts. Stop it. But it's the niggas, same way niggas, niggas throw it, niggas, n- the same way niggas throw around watches. You just bought Summer Walker a spaceship. I'm talking about <laughs> like regular men. Roy, first of all, you're not a regular man. I want you to throw that out the window. You saw the bar. You're extraordinary. You saw the bar <laughs> You're a cutie. And don't you forget it. <laughs> you're extraordinary. <laughs> yo. Yo, thank y'all, man. Uh, you're not a regular I've gotten, man. You're I've gotten a lot of compliments from my male don't friends. Don't let nobody tell you anything less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love yourself first. You got to put you first, King. Oh All right. God. Financially, I'm not extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, those arguments threw out the window when you started selling out Barclays. Yeah. It's like, oh, like I see it physically. I went okay, to the show. Justice, justice. That's kind of my numbers. That's kind of my problem. Hey, which with, is why he took his ass to that Chanel and so. <laughs> yeah. Kind of my Stupid. kind of my, I know. <laughs> Big fact. Kind of my problem with perception that women see with those things. Cause if Sam walked into the Barclays as she did and saw a sold out crowd and saw everyone that you can name in New York performing, all that shit, yeah. I would ask for a Chanel bag too. But Damn perception right. is where you fuck up Because mm-hmm. it may look like you got it mm-hmm. But you don't have it So then you went to the Gap and got like a regular No, you pardon it <laughs> Perception will fuck you up so Especially they, when you don't even pump it Like you don't You don't pump it up Anyone that they pumps that they got the gap Or put a gap between them <laughs> In their relationship <laughs> Yeah, fuck that gift Yo, by the way This is the first time ever I thought maybe you should rap Ah, see hey. <laughs> That was a good bar Go ahead uh, That's my issue Like the guy that pretends to be rich and pumps that perception, yeah, I want him to fail every single time. Yeah, I agree. You. I'm with you. I that girl should ask you for that bag, and if you can't afford it, see, sorry. Yeah, I 100. percent I don't do that. Fall on your face. <laughs> Did you think about going I, to Canal Street? I what? Parks. 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 Oh, I what told are you to. doing? <laughs> Parks. No, I know. Help I, no, I know Canal. I, I know here. Canal. <laughs> I was on Green Street, right up on it's right right in Soho. I was yeah. like, oh, I could go right back to to where I know. What are you doing? You're getting your girl canal back? No, I, w- not. I would never do that, yeah. Justice. So what are you doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. I would never give her. You want her to go in public and say, "Yeah, my baby got me that." No. Yeah. And that shit. I just fu- saw, I just fu- saw a whole fu- inter- I just saw a whole I interview. I just saw a whole interview where French Montana said Akon gave him some fake shit. So why why would I be above it? Because <laughs> French was was tight. Oh. <laughs> he was mad. He wasn't happy about it. Yeah, he, he wasn't saying, "Oh, Akon got yeah, me some." But what I'm saying is, Akon wasn't tight. <laughs> he, he wasn't mad. Akon don't give a fuck. He was tight got, with that wallet. Akon got to talk to French every day. He was tight yeah. with that wallet. When you got to talk to somebody every day, that's when you got to look at it different. Like, all right, well, <sighs> listen, the coach bag ain't bad, Rory. Listen, bro, did a good the coach, good Donny and Burke. Yo, Joe, yo, you had a Dwayne. Joe, you're not gonna do that. Joe, you're not gonna do that. Come on, you're not gonna do that. What that? A coach bag, my G. Yeah, you got too much money, Justin. No, 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 no. It's not about bread. Justice is richer than all of us. It's not about bread. Look at your left wrist. Mm. It's. Mm hmm. In Joe's defense, he's had that watch, watch for a decade. And he's never you know, he taken it off but, but, but stop. It's funny that you say that because why my left wrist has looked the same for damn near a decade, I take so much pride in having the ability to go do something, but. Having the same fucking watch. That's not my thing. I'm not into a bunch of jewelry. But that's the going, same point. Like, I take pride. Same that's the same point. You can, buy, <laughs> you can buy that Chanel purse once every five years, 10 years, if you really want to stretch it. And this, you'll be fine. This is where, this is where the, the thing, it gets tricky with women and buying them bags. Especially like the first bag. Like if, if your girl never had a bag, she wants a bag. <laughs> It, yeah, right. it don't matter what it costs. She don't have to know shit about it. If she's never had one, she comes to you and say, yo, I want this. You kind of got to get it. Now yeah, you got to wait for her to get tired of it. Let me tell you something. I spent the whole year uh, in a relationship buying shit that I thought was super fly from Burberry Trench, this, that, that. She ain't give a fuck about that shit. Left it, didn't wear it, flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> now listen, my nigga, I feel you. I'm not, I'm not saying So I you're not telling us what you got I'm not girl. saying I don't feel you. I just I got, I got cash. But I'm not saying I don't feel you. I, all I'm saying is that when I see your left wrist, I see a, I see wealth. It's used. 
It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You, you can get a used Chanel purse, too. Go you can. The, That's go, true. Go on the real real.com. <laughs> like go on the real real.com. You can get Joe, Joe. I didn't even plug it. Joe, where, where, I, where, my, I, where, I, where I said I went when you text me, yo, what happened? So went right to the real real. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is that, like, you don't have to buy a Rolex every single day. But the fact that you have one signifies that you're doing all right in life. And your girl only just wants to live up to that same standard. No. I do want to know that, that does one, not mean you're doing good in the life. The fact that I have one on. signifies that uh, I saved up a lot of money to propose at one time and then got turned down and tried to take the ring back to somebody. And then they ran the old can't take the ring back bullshit. So I settled on a watch. That's what it tells me. Yeah, I mean, and then Joe, I kept the watch. Joe, on. that's not, that's 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 so like he some, married himself. That's, basically. That, yeah, that's yeah. swag. That's, 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 that's some troubled past shit. That's what it tells me. That's, that's, that's some troubled past shit. Ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. No, cause no, no, it don't. Yes, it does. Because niggas will save up for a girl. We won't save up for ourselves. No. Yeah, we will. You know how long I wanted a watch? Yeah, we will. I never tried to save up money to go out and buy a watch. You doing it all wrong? How many watches you got? I have no watches. Not a watch. You're not a watch guy. No. He's a pants guy. And they're cool. There's tons of pants. Although, <laughs> although I pants did, on pants on pants. You know what? <laughs> I pants. did look at that fucking uh, Mueller the other day. My God, why did they cost two fifty? The Frank Mueller two hundred fifty dollars. So bad. I'm getting that confused. Oh, the Frank Mueller, now, not you didn't, Richard you didn't look at Millie. A fossil. Richard. <laughs> oh, Richard. Yeah. Millie. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, you said Mueller, which Whatever. is Frank. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you definitely was out, went outside for Frank Mueller's. That's why it was confusing to me. Okay. But the the Millies. They're yeah. nice watches. The incredible watches. But they're wa- they're they're watches that are supposed to be like swatches for rich, like wealthy. Oh yeah, they're incredible. When Should we were supposed like... to remember, when we were supposed to get watches, and I sent you the one all the way to right there, that black one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one is crazy. That orange one? No, all the way to the right. The black yeah, I know, one. but I'm, t- I'm telling you about the orange one. That shit starts at two fifty. Yeah, that's cool. Crazy. I'm cool. Yeah. I don't have yeah. two fifty for that. I don't have two hundred. I can actually get that same that. watch face on my Apple Watch. Joe. So I'm cool. Let's round up how much bread you spent at fucking Starlet's in the last two years. No, I thought you were about to say like Bird Off or something. No, no, no. I don't spend that much money on Starlet's. I just make it look like that. Like, I'm going in tonight. I'm going in tonight. I'm going to get 5,000 singles. I'm going to throw one. I'm going to let you look at another one. And then I'm going to leave. And then the next time I come in, <laughs> I'm going to pull from that stash. That's why they keep talking about I have cash. Because I just recycle the stripper money. Okay. Which is smart. That's fine. That's very smart. That's a good strategy. The smartest shit is to go to the strip club and just get a wine glass and get some wine. And that shit goes crazy. No, and no. It makes me feel good giving back. Yeah. Well, I was just saying like as far as like perception. <laughs> perception. You, you just told Eddie to give back to uh, Keenan <laughs> Ke- Cannon. But I can't give back to uh, I'm Batter. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying she, you can't. She deserves it too. Uh, hey, I'm Mom, saying, why y'all want to give, give one of a couple dollars? <laughs> Fuck out of here. Nigga. I'm not saying you can't. All, all I'm and you can't say. Oh, yeah, no. Never mind. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is that at the end of the day, your girl's your partner, your counterpart. You want her to go outside feeling as good as you do in that same watch. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? What the fuck is Justice talking about? <laughs> Yo, I'm out on that note, I'm out. Yeah, yeah for yeah, real, no, God damn We don't it. want that. Did you guys see Erica and Safari stab up somebody and leave? <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not I a snitch, that. but that's that, goals. Yeah, that's goals. Allegedly. Allegedly. Like together? Yeah. Like they held yeah. the knife together? Allegedly. Yeah. yeah. Is that on this week's episode? No. That's uh, incredible. Sirens as we make love. <laughs> that's a, that's combined like a terrible credit score. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what happened though? Like, give us more st- uh, of a story. Though, uh, according to the article, Maul. A bunch of women came up and said, yo, are you Nicki Minaj when Safari was walking with his wife? And Erica didn't fancy that comment. So Safari got really mad at the girls. And then the Stop guys it. that the girls were with came over to hold their women down. And then Safari sent the goons on them. And the goons won. <laughs> Somebody ran up to Erica and Safari. Well, this is what I read on Twitter in, in Brooklyn, I don't know if it's in true. In Brooklyn, that is the alleged story. People are so, people are dumb. That's just stupid. You know that's not Nicki Minaj. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Like, that's just stupid. They might have seen some resemblance. There's no resemblance between Erica Mina and Nicki Minaj. Oh, well, Safari. 
there's a resemblance between Safari and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. I'm talking shit. I don't know. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, let's let's cover. Um, tell tell uh, tell Justice what don't fuck with cats is. Oh, so don't fuck with don't fuck with the cats. It's this a, shit is uh, insane. It's a documentary on Netflix about a serial killer who posted oh. a video years ago about. Don't give too much spoilers. <laughs> His first video was he killed two kittens. He put two kittens in a a, a vacuum seal bag. And suck the air out of it. He's genuinely killing cats. Correct. It was a video that went viral, went but viral I didn't see it in 2010 um, on YouTube of some kid that with a hood over his head put two cats in a vacuum seal bag, put the vacuum on, and everyone got really upset at it, made a Facebook group. And they hunted him down. As they fucking should. They, yeah. used, they used every technique that women use when they're trying to catch you cheating. They were looking at things <laughs> that were sitting on the table, the yeah. posters you had, cleaner, somebody's hand. It's crazy. it's crazy. Like, they just got insane. in their woman bag. Yeah, and, and, it's insane. And found the dude. I have been trying to finish this series, which is only about three episodes, yeah. since yeah. it has been released. How many, how many did you watch? Two? One. Oh, <laughs> That's what yeah, everybody fam, says. You're, 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 you're fucking with cats but right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, but I done put so many people just on to uh, for them to watch it, and they have finished it, and they are coming to me trying to talk to me about it. And I've had the busiest week or two weeks ever. I watched all three straight. I could not. Me, that's what I keep trying to do, but I cannot. Because I'm just, huh, I'm, I hate my a life. couple a couple of days <laughs> or too. last week whenever I hit Joe I said hey I'm watching I'm on halfway through this first episode of Don't Fuck with Cats it's, it's kind of your bag I'm enjoying it and at the and beginning of episode two I said hey I totally undersold this you should find a TV <laughs> good word that <laughs> so, shit is so crazy is that good and I found a TV and I watched twenty minutes of it and I was hooked because that's right in my bag yeah then like my mom called with yours. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, take out the garbage. Yeah, and then I had to move. Yeah. Like, man, shit you had a lot been, going on. Man, yeah. shit has been going oh, on. You finally yeah. moved out your mom's house? Congrats. Yeah, man. That's dope. But, but, but you have to get back to it, though. So it's brazy. Tonight. It's, it's crazy. Or, or it's tomorrow. Crazy. Well, well we're nuts. on vacation now, so I'm going to watch that. Yeah. I'm that going. shit is crazy. I'm, I'm going to watch it. It started, it had me thinking a lot of with these documentaries of all these shits that's happened that I didn't know about. Which scares me more about the things I don't know about. I was like, "How did I miss this?" Yeah, yeah. Because you're not checking for cats. No, but nah. you know what's crazier than that? Got, I fuck it, with cat it videos. Well, it was well past the cat bag. Yeah, yeah like, no. just, but you, the yeah. thing is, I took from that, and I, I you saw the whole thing, right? Yeah. Like yeah. what I took from it was, <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything that I'm not going to reveal. It but what of, I took from it was the people that were hunting him. It, it's weird how it started to feel like they were waiting for him to do something else. Yeah, they were. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, so it's like it's like they Joe, were wanting him to do something else so they can continue this whole cu- group cu- of your ears again. It's kind of like watching the yeah, show word. and then they got together to say, "Did you see what he just did recently?" I, uh, I appreciated like, their accountability at the end. Yeah, yeah, I did appreciate the accountability because yeah. I kind of the whole time I was like, "Fam, y'all, are, this y'all are kid is like, looking for this. Yeah, 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 oh, stop for it." We got a hum. We got a hum. Yeah, because the whole time and. uh I, I realized that I was a nice guy when I was. <laughs> Yo, this when, uh, is crazy. I was ready to shoot son some bail when Manny got involved. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And then, Ma- then when Manny, Mom Dukes was wilding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, oh fuck! All right, episode three, we're gonna get into Manny's story. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> So it's just like a three part? Yeah. Three part, yeah. Watch it. You got potential. <laughs> <laughs> you got You're good now. You. Yeah, you're good. We're, we're done. We're done. We didn't do any spoilers, though. No, we didn't. Not really. Uh, we didn't. That shit is phenomenal. Can you give us any spoiler alerts for Love and Hip Hop episode that's happening right now? It's Christmas morning. It's just not <laughs> happening right now. No, I was asking you, can you give us a spoiler alert for Love and Hip Hop episode right now? No, I'm not in this episode. I don't know what's happening. No, we saw you in the intro. You were smoking a cigar and you don't smoke cigars. <laughs> it was a Newport cigar. <laughs> a Newport cigar. <laughs> Yo, Parks, Parks is so G with this fucking <laughs> rosé bottle to the face. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's almost, it's almost gone. I gotta pour that in a cup. <laughs> and I plugged that I sold a show at Netflix. What'd you say? What? So, you sold a show to Netflix? Yeah. I just Cheers to, pl- to you. I just wanted to plug that. Wait, huh? You sold a show to Netflix? Yes, sir. Big toes. Kings. Big toes. Come on, man. Big toes. Come on, man. Big toes. Come on, man. Come on, who else? Where else do you get this type of news? 
Opening the store in Ghana too. Mm. Wait, how's this a congratulatory song? It was yeah, the song was we were playing from Watch the Throne, and I just hit play. Jesus <laughs> oh, black on black murder. I, I just feel like maybe there's yeah, music when have you celebrate. Oh, does that have Fuck, a deeper Rory? meaning? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, wow, how you feel, man? Don't nigga at the end of it while you at it. For real, <laughs> he's not murdering anyone. But you are. So but you are a guy. I'm an ally. I'm a white ally. But you are a dunny. A dunny. A dunny. <laughs> um, oh, wait, they're fighting now. Oh, no. That's Pap talking some black love shit. That's not fighting, no. That's the shit he tried to Do we about. believe Pap? Yeah. I do. Yeah. I yeah, actually do. Yeah. That high pitch, no, really high pitch yell is crazy. I, I do believe him. I believe him. But why I believe him, I can't say. I do I, believe him. But did you I think let Safari borrow your watch? Do you believe Pap? No, he got a brand new one. Oh, okay. Mind it's you. the same watch. But mind you. <laughs> what do you mean about, do you believe uh, Pat? With all this black love shenanigans. Look, look like, us, this nigga has been perfect. Toxic. This nigga has been perfect since she went to jail. And I'm with it. But I'm just saying. He yeah. has been perfect. He's been bought he this rebrand too. Yeah, Pat Poole's rebrand don't get talked about enough. That's a fact. Yeah, it's crazy. Because he bodied the rebrand. He bodied the fuck out of it. Nigga went wore Gino Green. <laughs> He's hot again. Listen, I, I've, <laughs> I've noticed Gino in my... Green. And my older like, age. <laughs> like some people just Gino Green all is finished. Like what happened to Case Lay? Yeah, but that was that was our Supreme. They would have wore it. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> that was our Supreme. <laughs> Wait, what was the what was the Gino album was that spelled though. America backwards? That Pat that Case uh, Lay. Not Supreme Dream, bro. There shout out is. to Pat, man. Yeah, shout out to Pat. That album never came out when it finally no, did. And when, 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 when it finally did, didn't Pat get like the biggest good. contract ever at that point though? One point five million dollar man a job. I remember. Yeah, shout out to Pat. Shout out to Pap. Pap was the greatest. King Great dude, man. Was the greatest. Justice is a fucking idiot, man. For sure. Oh, y'all, y'all are finished with Don't Fuck With Cats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna, you got you to gotta uh, finish watching it. Yeah, you bugging. No, ten, well, I'm going out to uh, give back to the community tonight, but tomorrow <laughs> I'm going to watch it. You know what it is? I'd be, I've had some free time in the morning. Your charity work is Listen, phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Especially during the holidays, too, you really got to get back. I've right. had some free time in the mornings. I'll be honest with y'all. And that's normally when I'll, I'll sneak and get it in with the shows that I missed or haven't seen. But because I saw a little piece of this, this is not something I want to watch when it's daytime. Okay. So, and I haven't been free. To, I'm going to finish it. I Let watched it going into our live show at the Beacon. <laughs> See, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I'm going to get into that. The sun one. was out. Have we had to prepare for a show. What movie? Waves. No, I haven't. Incredible. Is it new? Yeah. It's an indie theater. Just go check it out. Where can I? Where can I consume it? Oh, is that your show you sold in, to Netflix? In indie theaters? No, 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 no. What show? The show I sold to Netflix is completely separate. It's a different bag. Yeah, yeah. Wave has nothing to do with me. I just, I was just. You, a fan. you know what's so funny about Justice? All his artists make really, really sad and morbid music, and Justice is the complete opposite of that. No, I'm sad as shit. <laughs> no, he's really. Bad. You and him are sad, sad inside. Oh no, I've, I've admitted that I'm sad inside. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm emotional. The, as the fuck. thing I carry. So did Justice by saying he like moon music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know that about you. That you like. That's a special type of person. When I first met him, I oh, told him emotional burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that was kind of funny. It's the time for sleepers. <laughs> emotional burgundy. Uh, that's like a champagne, though. It's not burgundy. <laughs> Yo, wait! Did you cut song, out my whole Kenny Burke segment? Yeah, I did. Wow, this song coming That's on crazy. after the podcast we had is hilarious. <laughs> this was, was great. This was our Christmas pod. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. That is Merry was, Christmas. You want to hear us argue even, about Jay Z? Even, 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 even E knows that that was sick. <laughs> it's definitely some people walking in the house right now to their moms like angry. So you saying that reasonable <laughs> doubt wasn't better than that? <laughs> Listen, it's Christmas today when y'all are hearing this. Uh, it's Monday when we're, we're actually recording this, which means Christmas Eve for us is tomorrow. For y'all listeners, it was yesterday. I'm going to Aunt, uh, uh, Aunt, Star- uh, Aunt Karen house tomorrow <laughs> to see what's going on over there. See if any okay. family members want to get froggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, what are y'all yeah. doing for Christmas? I'm going to my dad's for Christmas. Okay. I'm going to see the family. I'm going to see. Going to my dad. Dad's going. Oh, to I, might, I might check you. I'm going to be uh, right in his area. I'm going to Africa. Well, all right, shut, shut us up. down. Yeah, <laughs> word. <laughs> Fuck out of here, JBP. Come on, stop it. You can go to Africa with all the fucking LA trips and where you stay at. I don't think he can. 
I'm doing a I'm doing a that fucking five borough tour on Christmas. Mall's not allowed in Africa. I'm not allowed. <laughs> yeah. In Africa. How you know you never try? Well, I'm taking you next year, bro. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Let's do it. You are the most thorough nigga that Africa recruited. Are you gonna fly? <laughs> you, he gonna fly you out? <laughs> Watch him <your> out. <mouth. laughs> what? I mean, no. Maul, Maul is a cutie. I'm gonna fly, I'm Maul's a cutie. Out. We gonna fly together. I'm gonna fly all my out. cuties out. Oh my. God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 Roy. Nah, Roy. <laughs> That's just you, Rory. Nah. Yeah. I'm gonna fly Rory, Rory trying to get some niggas nah, to be I'm down with him. I'm gonna fly my niggas no, out. You Rory, the only say. cutie. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. Say, Rory, I'm gonna fly my niggas out. <laughs> Yo, I don't know why everyone's goal on this podcast is to get Rory to say nigga. I don't understand that either. Cause they they yo people swear they catch him all the time. And they saying, don't. They be I'm like, yo, we caught him right <laughs> here. Four twenty seven mark. Yeah. He said it. I'm like, I don't think he said it, but okay. No, no then they see the video and it just be Joe screaming it. <laughs> now nah, one time, what's he screaming? You right? said something and then I said something and put together it sounded like you said nigga. Oh no, there, there, I, was, had there was I had to listen back. <laughs> no, there was one that that one moment you talking about because they yeah. do it every week. But that one time with the audio, I was like, all right, Oops. I was there because it was Joe, but. They might kill me because it sounds like I said it. <laughs> also, I want to let y'all know that this conversation over this song is not. <laughs> yo, Everything about we, this. Yo, Anything Donnie talked about this is we, we are clearly in need of a break, and that is what is happening. Uh, there will be no Saturday episode. There will be no New Year's Day episode. We will be back to y'all January 3rd, I think. The 3rd I think is. That's the date, yeah. It's January Word? 3rd, man. Oh, it's lit. And cocked his back. Uh, January third. <laughs> I'm not pausing in 2020. I'm okay. telling you. Okay. Well, I'm, this is coming out if, on the 25th, so pause. If I'm gay, I'm gay. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the whole community. That's where you stand now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a whole community of people that wants me to just come out the closet. So fuck it. <laughs> fuck Take it to the next level, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Everybody, enjoy your your holiday. Enjoy your family, enjoy your friends, your loved ones, enjoy a, a good home-cooked meal if you're fortunate enough to have one. Uh, enjoy gifts. Enjoy. And no matter what you think about uh, capitalism and all the secret society Christmas shit, it's a time to be with your family, and that's a dope thing. Yeah. That's, that's how I look at it, Well, man. Yeah, that's your family's dope. <laughs> Some people. Hey, and again, my heart goes out to the people who have a difficult time during the holidays. It's important for me to note that Word holidays up. is not, they're not a joyous experience for everyone. So I want to shout out to the people that maybe don't have family or when the holidays remind you of a turbulent time or just somebody you lost. Uh, we fuck with y'all too, man. Uh, we getting out of here. We will talk to y'all on the third. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. I want to wish everybody out there Happy New Year as well, since you won't hear from us. Yeah. Yes, healthy, prosperous, successful, loving, bigger, better 2020 for everybody. That's what I'm talking about more. Word everybody. Up. I want everybody to have a bigger and better 2020. Spread love. Spread love, not hate. Spread love, not hate. And kill the roaches before they make more roaches. That's a fact. <laughs> As soon as you see That's him. That's true. Big fat. That's a Fendi. <laughs> Big Fendi. Uh, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make each one last as if it's all we have. And lastly, the girl is not uh, The girl is not cute. She's young. She doesn't have hips. She's sitting on. She's on her tippy toes. Wait, well, fuck it all. <laughs> fuck this all up. What it's is close it? enough. Listen, man. We had, we had quite over 2019, so it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Let me not even end with that. Everybody out there have a blast, and we will see y'all in 2020. Uh, no, I, I'll end it right with in that poem. Uh, it's not New Year, New Her. She's she's still a hoe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You pardon. <laughs> uh, you pardon, man. You pardon. <laughs> Yo, you are crazy, bro. You are fucking insane. Shout out to all the niggas that's beefing with their girl on Christmas, man. I know that vibe. Stay strong. It gets tough, man. It gets tough. And then you can't even hit the side like you normally do because she with her family. That's <laughs> 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 so when you're here like, yo, what time you going to be done, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She it's over, over. here wild. <laughs> Christmas over, man. Happy holidays to you guys, too. Thank you, Parks. Happy holidays. Thanks, thanks Parks. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. And same to you, gentlemen. Fucking Thank you. Sensible, it's been man. a good year. Tell someone uh, we love her and happy holidays, Justice. Oh, I will. Summer's living a great life. 
Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Okay. Said hi. Happy holidays. Yo, tell her. Summer I love her. Yeah. And I think we got the power to grow. <laughs> Joe, fuck you. That was your. That was your, that was your dear Summer. <laughs> Yo, if Justice right. come in here, was, if was. Justice Sparks, come in here cool. again, I know, I know it if was. If he come in here again and attack me on some summer shit, I might have to put out a Dear Summer, man. <laughs> oh my that's god, that's the song you going with? Yeah, I might have to come back on that, <laughs> featuring Summer. Ooh, that's hard. Well, that's, that's hard. hard. That's hard. It, we'll, that? we'll be hard because I damn sure ain't getting a summer feature. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be difficult, Rory. <laughs> because this ain't this ain't my dark beautiful night twisted word man the word. fuck out it's I'm at, trying to come back to the whole Avengers now it's we actually it's actually 534 which is a great uh, bleak album but go ahead get your shit off happy, bye, bye happy, you guys happy Christmas uh, oh. happy Kwanzaa what, 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 new, Joe Budden. new Joe Budden uh, I did and we just kept talking uh, oh and then a flex he lied just to end the year cause they lied I'm going to end it with flex. <laughs> <laughs>